champions are forged. Destinies are fulfilled. Oh my god, bro. No. Right. My comeback stories never felt so good. Josh Ed. Yes! Oh, oh. yes! The stage is set with surprises at every turn. Oh! oh my god. God. <laughs> He's back! The best competitor. Absorb her into your bosoms. But remember, oh, we come back. If you like music, film, and TV, then I know exactly what you need. Welcome. 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 Welcome to Quiz Club. Quiz Club. Quiz Club. Quiz Club. To Quiz Club. Dante wanted me to send a quick video to y'all. Welcome you to the show. I really don't give a shit personally. Watch it, don't watch it, do what you want. Psych, welcome to Quiz Club! Welcome everyone to Quiz Club 39. I'm gonna have to remember to keep playing to the camera. Welcome folks, episode 39. We are one episode away from our inaugural tag team episode. I'm very excited, but today... We have a very fun lineup. I'm excited. We've got some rematches around. We've got some family drama. We have a debut happening today on Quiz Club. I'm very excited. We also have a new champ who broke history. I'm very excited to introduce her today. But before we get into our champion, we got to introduce the rest of the competitors. Now, making her fourth Quiz Club appearance today, folks. She is the sister of El Champion today. She has two Kryptonite rounds, though. Two Family, Two Feud in the Survival Games. But... She's the only quiz club competitor who's getting married in April. Folks, I'm going to go ahead and introduce her, Nicole Brown. Nicole, welcome <laughs> to the show. Dante, you should just introduce people just doing random stuff all the time. That's your thing. I love that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Nicole. How are you doing? How is Florida treating you? I know you guys just went to the beach today. I'm was good. It was, it was good. It was hot, but you know, it did what it's supposed to do. And we're here. Nice. Yeah. Good. Good. Well, good. Nicole, the champ. It's your sister. Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel going into this? Are you feeling a little bit more competitive or are you like, how are you feeling about it? I mean, you know, I wish I could reach her level, but I know I can't. So I'm just honored to be in her space. Nice. Oh, that's cute. All right. Well, I'm excited to have you, Nicole. Thank you so much, as always, for joining in today. Uh, wishing you the best of luck. Wishing Thanks. you the best of luck, Nicole. Thanks. Nice. All right. Go ahead and send her back. Getting married. It's an amazing defeat. I'm, I'm excited for her. I'm genuinely excited. Well, today, we are making another Quiz Club debut. It's, it's been a while since we've had a debut on Quiz Club, but today, she's making her debut. She's on her way to achieving a Bachelor of Fine Arts from AMDA Los Angeles. But she does have a YouTube channel. It is Love Sal Sav 907. Uh, I can put the link in the description. She's making her debut to Quiz Club. That is Savannah Clark. Savannah, welcome to hey. the show. How are you yeah, doing, I'm Savannah? Glad to be here. I was honestly super surprised when you reached out to me the first time, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, Dante!" And then, like, I also saw like your stuff on TikTok as well because you followed me on TikTok. So I was like super excited to be here. So I'm glad to be here. It's of been a course, minute, Savannah. <laughs> it has been a minute. If you guys haven't yeah. known. Most people in the room know, but Savannah and I, we go back uh, uh, semester two. It's been a few years though, Savannah, that pandemic really, uh, I feel like that really wow. halted everybody seeing each other for the longest time. So it's really yeah, good to see you. I, Oh, nice to see you too. Cause I graduated in 2020 and then that was like 2020 mm -hmm. February. And then like everything yeah. shut down in like March. So I was like, damn. Yeah. And then I actually went back home and then I came back. Cause I was like, well, I want to go back to LA. So what's the one way I can like go back to LA and like start doing what I need to do. So back to school. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Well, we love to see that. We love to see people pursuing their dreams and going back to school. It's something that I've always thought about. And I think that's the best move, even though a lot of people were like, Oh, college, this college, that it is always the best move to go back yeah. regardless. So uh, really excited to have you on Savannah. I've been, I've been thinking about adding you for so long. It's just finally the stars Aww. aligned. So. I'm excited I know. To have you <laughs> I know. I was a little bit. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> of course. Of course. Well, wishing you the best of luck. I know it's. I know it, this is your first time, right? We're jumping right in. Do you have any thoughts going into this quiz club today? Do you have um, any 
any notions? I'm a little bit worried because I don't, I feel like my selection of like movies is like very limited, but I feel like since I saw like the little chart that you showed me, I'm like, I think I know. I think I know. I feel like I have a good feeling. So maybe this will be my like future, future debut, like my little, yeah, Yeah. (laughs) my little fantastic debut or whatever. So I'm super excited. Good. Well, wishing you the best of luck, Savannah. I'm going to go ahead and send you back stage. Wishing you the best of luck. Next, he wants his title back. He wants it back. Today is his 10th quiz club appearance. He lost the belt due to a cash in last episode. But I will say, he has three separate quiz club championship wins, which ranks him tied for second all time to that feat. Obviously, the number one spot crowned quiz club champion, inaugural four time champion, Katie McLassen, who did retire, has the most. Matthew is tied for second with Michaela at three wins. Uh, And he has the most points scored in a round that we introduced this new year. Two stars are born, 75 points. Folks, he is, he's looking for that rematch to that title. It's a little bit of Mr. Matthew Monaco. Hey, (laughs) I love that. Matthew, how you doing, sir? Doing good. Doing good. Good. I have a genuine curiosity question. Did you get those from the new uh, Super Mario Land? No, I actually got these at Dave oh, and Buster's. Okay. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. Good stuff. Well, Matthew, I know, hey, last episode didn't really work out well. You did finally dethrone Ryan in a, in <laughs> a really crazy point. feat. By one point towards the end, you dethroned him. And then that, that cash-in alarm went off. What was going through your head, Matthew, when, uh, when uh, Jill popped up out of nowhere? I was like, uh-oh, here we go. But <laughs> like I said, Jill deserved it. Jill deserved it. Yes, she did. She did. It's been a long time coming. So it's been a long time coming. Matthew, yeah. do you have any words? Do you have any tips? I know you're not the longest, or I should say the most wise when it comes to Quiz Club. You've only been on 10 episodes, according to the champ 16. But do you have any tips for newcomer making her debut for Savannah? Do you have any tips for that? Uh, honestly, try your best and just have fun. Exactly. That's. I, feel, I love how everybody just responds with that. That's the way we should do it. That's the way. Yep. Good sportsmanship. Nice. Yes, always, always good sportsmanship. Well, Matthew, wishing you the best of luck. I'm going to go ahead and send you back to the waiting room. Thank you, Matthew. Next. Folks, for 18 plus days, she has been our quiz club champion. She did cash in on the championship on the previous episode. Today is her sixth quiz club appearance. Only competitor today in this room to have played since quiz club's inaugural episode one. And she is the first and only person to achieve the Quiz Club Championship, the Quiz Club Tag Team Championship, and the cash-in contract. She is the only Quiz Club Grand Slam champion. Folks, it's Miss Brown. Jillian Brown entering the arena. (laughs) How you doing, Jill? You you are muted, but how are you doing today? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. The belt's looking good. I'm telling you, the belt around the shoulder's looking good. I got to say. Yes. It's our Quiz Club Championship right there. Jill, <laughs> share just really quickly. I know we, we heard what you had to say last episode, but how does it feel now that you are at the top of the mountain? People like Matthew, or sorry, yeah, Matthew, Caden, Kai, Ryan, Wayne, you are now on top of that mountain as well. How does it make you feel? You know, it feels really good. Um, I will say today... Uh, it's a lot more pressure because I'm going to be real embarrassed if I lose this. I only had it for how, how long? Like 18 days. Not- Today is 18. As well, of okay. You count the 18. days. So that makes it sound yeah. a little better, but like <laughs> I will be, I've only held it for one game <laughs> if, if I lose, but obviously we're thinking positive thoughts. Um, yeah. So Yeah. Also, it hasn't really only been six uh, six quiz clubs. I've only been in six quiz clubs. 16. 16. Oh, 16. Oh, okay. 16 I thought I again. heard six. Okay. I was like, no, dang. Today is your 16. <laughs> I will say you don't have to worry too much. Not trying to rain on Matthew's parade, but Matthew and Michaela are tied for the shortest rain at six minutes with the quiz club title. But who's counting, mm. right? Who's keeping track? 
Nobody's keeping track but me. <laughs> All right. Well, Jill, oh my uh, gosh. Very, wishing you the best of luck. I'm excited. We're going to go ahead and bring everybody on back in here, folks. Welcome to Quiz Club 39. I don't have the title card ready, but we, we roll with the punches, folks. Before we jump into the quiz, um, as always, I guess I could do it right here. Uh, as always, we always go over the quiz rules. Now, as the quiz rules stand, we want to show that competitiveness and have some fun. The two main rules, I should say. Uh, no cheating as always, no asking partners, no looking at stuff, no looking up answers, all that good stuff. Always want to keep it honorable on Quiz Club. Uh, and you want to outwit your opponents and win that Quiz Club championship. Uh, and I always add this in, gift cards, because the winners of Quiz Clubs get gift cards. Every time you win, I load money onto that gift card. That's a little fun thing, Savannah, that we do. When we have Quiz Club. So Matthew's got some money on there. Jill's got some money on there. Just paid Ryan. That hurt my bank account a little bit, but it's all <laughs> fun. It's my way of thanking you guys for joining on and having a good time. And always, we have our Joker points. These Joker points have each competitor of the, will have a section of the quiz designated for them to earn up to double points. Their fate will be decided by a roll of die. Uh, roll of die. Besides the champion, we'll go into that in a minute. Uh, Joker points do not go into effect during the final round of Quiz Club. Uh, speaking of that, Miss, Miss Jillybean, our quiz club champion, we always give you guys the honor of the new champ with the new year. You get to choose the round that you want to do double points in, or you get to choose the round for someone else. So it's up to you. Uh, we have three rounds in total today. The third round is always off limits, so it's either round one or two. Pretty vague, but uh, if fate's telling you, you can always choose. So do you want to choose a round for yourself or choose a round for someone else? I don't know. I feel I would feel bad if I chose one for someone else and it was like a terrible round. <laughs> like I feel like I'd be responsible for that. So <laughs> I'm going to choose it for myself. Okay. And okay. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to, I, yeah, I'm going to just be responsible for my own. Like, yeah, I'll just do like, the second round will do round two. Okay. Nice. I love how we go from Ryan to screwing people during rounds to Jill going, I want to be nice. <laughs> you love to see it. <laughs> you love to see it. All right. Well, round two for Jill. Savannah, it is your first day today, so I'll roll the die. Uh, if it's at evens, we'll do round one for you. If it's an odds, we'll do round two. Okay. So you will be, you will be doing round one during your Joker points. So, again, you do have... You do have uh, round one double points are activated. Those come in clutch, by the way. Ask literally anybody. They come in clutch. All right. Nicole, we'll have you go next. As always, evens, odds. It is an even. You will be sharing round one with Savannah. We could have a three-way share. Matthew, the roll goes out, and it is an odd. So you and Jill, round two. Savannah and Nicole for round one. Cool. Yes, I'm excited. Uh, we're going to go ahead and introduce our first round for Savannah and Nicole's double point round. It is a round I, I enjoy a lot. It is a guess who's coming to Quiz Club. Now, how this game is played. Uh, it's pretty simple. I will give you a movie frame. Uh, it could be a movie or a TV show today. It's all movies. You have to guess what that movie is. Pretty simple. Just throw up a movie frame. You tell me what it's from. Any mm -hmm. questions with that? So it's just like any movie. Any movie. I will. Okay. How about this? I will be nice. These we're in the Oscar season, right? We're also in Black <laughs> History Month. These are okay. Oscar. That makes it. That makes it a lot films. easier. <laughs> yeah. Oscar themed films. Yeah. I, I realize that we, I got to be a little bit more specific. <laughs> uh, previous episodes make me laugh. Um, yes. So these are all Oscar themed episodes. Uh, okay. or movies. Sorry, movies. Um, each correct answer is three points. Savannah and Nicole, each correct answer for you guys is six points. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Remember, no notes. It's just first to buzz in. So this one's this one's a good starter. Gets you on your toes. First film. Jill. Jill. Dang. Get out. Uh, that is three points to that Jill. That was super Very easy. Oh, that's <laughs> super my, easy. My, my mind blank. My mind blank. <laughs> Literally, as soon as she said her name, that's when it came up. And I'm like, oh, well. <laughs> I don't know why, but I forgot my own name for a second. I was like, what am I talking about? <laughs> that happens to me sometimes, too. <laughs> it happens. It happens. Nice. Okay. Uh, very good that's stuff, Jill. Three points to you. Next film. Again, these are all Oscar-nominated films. Not winning, 
Oscar nominated films. Actually, I should have I should have been a little bit more clear with this. These are films that did win and I will I will award you extra points if you've buzzed in with the correct answer and you can tell me what it's won. So Jill, I'll actually give you the opportunity. You have 5 seconds. What Oscar um, did it win? It won one. Best director? That is incorrect. I'll actually open it up to the room. If you guys want to buzz in with a guess on what Oscar it won, I'll give you two additional points, which would be four for Savannah and Nicole. Um, Matthew? Matthew? Best screenplay? That would be two points. Woo! To Matthew. I was that is two points to that Matthew. Too, and I was like, it's probably yeah. screenplay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did he did win best original screenplay? Should have won more, but that's a conversation for another day. All right. Uh, so we'll, we'll go with that. I should have, that was the new thing I wanted to add to this round. Uh, but yeah, if you buzz in with the correct answer, tell me how many Oscars or what Oscars it won. Uh, and I'll tell you how many it won. So it kind of, yeah. And then we'll go from there. Next film. First one to buzz in. Jill. Jill. Little Women. It is Little Women. I would give you five seconds mm. to tell me oh. what it won. It won one Oscar. Best costume design. That is another two points. That is Whoa! five points. Really? Two wow. Points. Jill. <laughs> Very good stuff. It won best costume design. Very good stuff. Very good stuff. Okay. Really? Right. I'm the literally screaming at myself right now. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. It happens. All right. Next film. Jill, I heard Nicole. Yay. Oh, Nicole. Moonlight. Yes, and it won three Oscars. Uh, if you give me as uh, many as you'd like, I can give you extra points. Uh, best supporting for Mahershal Ali. Do you want to give me just one or the, all three? Oh, uh, shoot. I got it. I got it. So, yeah. I got it. Matthew. It, Two, one. Was it most, like film, I think? Matthew. Nicole, I will give you points for that, but if someone can give me the final Oscar, I'll give it. Savannah, I know you didn't. I know Matthew or Savannah, you didn't buzz in with your name, but I'll take your buzz in. Oh, um, I feel like it won like best cinematography or something like that. Oh, it did not okay. win best cinematography, Matthew. Oh. What? Best, best picture. That was already said by Nicole. Jill, you can hop in. You were the last one to hop in, but you can hop in on when that Wait. one last Oscar it won. I didn't hear Nicole say best picture. She said best film, said which best is basically film. best picture. Oh. oh, I mean, okay. So, um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. All right. Best, I will take that as an incorrect. Yeah. I will take that as an incorrect guess. Took a little too much time, but Nicole, correct guess. Six yeah. plus uh, four. Two. 12, ooh, oh, 14 yeah, yeah. points to oh, Nicole. Woo. 14. Those double points okay. really catapult you. Those, cool. those double points really catapult you. All right, I let me pull up the so next much. film. I Thank love that movie. All right, this next I know film so won, won only one Oscar. So I'll do that ahead of time. All right, next film. Nicole. Yeah. Nicole? The Help. Okay. Um, What's the one Oscar at one? I, I don't know. Matthew? Yeah. Matthew, I'll take yours. Um, Best Supporting Actress? That is correct. Octavia yeah. Spencer, Best Supporting Actress. That will yeah. be six points to Nicole. It'll be two to Matthew. Yeah. Very good stuff, you guys. Very good stuff. Very, oh, oh. I feel Nicole's like I'm really the, uh, the frames a, a tad bit late for some reason. I don't know. Been late. Well, you're hopping yeah. in on those Oscars, that's for sure. <laughs> you're yeah. jumping in on those. Nice, all right. Uh, we still have five more movies. No worries, Savannah. We still have time to get some points. And the champ have time. Next film. <laughs> Savannah. Savannah? Oh. Um, oh my god. Isn't this Miles Morales into the Spider-Verse? Savannah. Matthew. Savannah, I cannot take that as a correct oh, guess for the film name. Matthew, I will take you. And I watched the movie. Spider-Man oh into the Spider-Verse. That is correct. It won one Oscar. If you tell me which one, you get extra points. Um, best animated feature. That is correct. That's going to be five points. Nice. Do Matthew. That was close. That was close, Savannah. That was close. I know. I just. 
<laughs> Miles Morales into the spider. <laughs> it's because I only like knew Marvel. his name. Nice. All right. Well, very good stuff, Matthew. Very good stuff. Right. Next film won one Oscar. Oh, Nicole. Nicole. Uh, oh my God. Oh my God. No, 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 no. Savannah, Savannah. Matthew, Matthew. <laughs> one. I will go to Jill. She said hers next. Jill. Wait. Oh, oh Encanto. <laughs> Okay. Encanto. What oh Oscar God. did it win? It literally just came back. Uh, it won Best Original Song. That is actually correct. So it won two. My apologies. That is that is correct. If you give me the other wow. one, I'll give you more points. I mean, I gave you one, but um, I, I don't know. Did it win Best Best uh, Animated Feature? That is correct. This what? Website, this this website was wrong with me. It won two Oscars, not one. Uh, very good stuff, Jill. That is points wow. to you. Points to you. That was close, Nicole. So how many? <laughs> I felt the. Uh, so, so for mad. that one, you had three for correct. There. Brings you up to eleven, to, and then since you got both of them correct, two and two, that is going to be fifteen total. So not just from that one total in this round, fifteen. All right. Next film. This one, one, one Oscar. All right. Savannah. Oh no! Actually, Savannah? No, 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 no. I don't. Jill. I don't know this Savannah, Savannah, I will let Matthew. I will let it slide. I won't take it as a full guess. Jill. The Suicide Squad. It's Matthew. not the Suicide Squad, Matthew. The Grand Budapest Hotel. It's not the Grand Budapest Hotel. Oh. Savannah and Nicole, you guys are still in. I just realized that was still on. By the way, is it? Uh, I don't know this one. Is it Harley Quinn? It's not Harley <laughs> Quinn. Savannah, the floor is yours if you can guess the movie. I don't know who this girl is. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't. I really don't know this one. No, me either. Yeah. Do you wave the flag on this one, Savannah? Yeah, waving the white flag. Right. <laughs> that one was Promising Young Woman. Oh, that was one winner oh. for best screenplay. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I remember I, I was. I was not yeah. familiar with that one. <laughs> <laughs> that was the <laughs> pandemic <laughs> era, so. The cinematic, uh, the cinematography just reminded me a bit of Grand Budapest. Yeah, yeah I, I honestly yeah. thought it was Suicide Squad yeah. for a second. I can see Suicide Squad. I can see that. I can see that. Nice. Well, everybody got points for that one. Two, two more films left. Yeah. You have a chance. You have a chance, Savannah, to get some points. Uh, next film. Uh, actually, before I say that, it won. Just so I can give you guys a correct, it won. Two Oscars. Two Oscars. This next film is this. Matthew. Anna. Matthew. Dream Girls. What are the two Oscars? Um, best screenplay. Incorrect. Uh, I will go to Jill. Savannah. I heard her next. Uh, two Oscars for I don't know additional what it points. Won. Savannah. Savannah. Um. Yeah. Time know. has expired. I will go to Savannah. I want to say best original soundtrack. That's not correct. Matthew? Oh, Cole. Uh, Matthew, oh. you're, you did already buzz in. Oh, okay. So okay. it is on to Nicole. Nicole, the floor is yours for the two Oscars at one. Is it? Oh, shoot. Did somebody already say best supporting? Nobody said best actress. supporting. Best supporting actress for uh, Jennifer Hudson? That is correct. Do you have one more? Oh. Um, I know Beyonce didn't win nothing for that. Uh, best original song is soundtrack and song different. They are. Uh, that is incorrect. Though. It, it did win best sound mixing. That was the other one. It won. Oh, um, the sound mixing, best supporting actress like, for Jennifer Hudson. Yeah. <clears throat> wow. Well, nice. It happens. All right. One more film. One more film for this round, and we'll move on to the round two. All right. Y'all know this. Savannah, you know this. Ready. <laughs> Oh, before I reveal it, I almost revealed it without telling you how many Oscars it won. <laughs> Give me one second. It won six Oscars. There's a Ooh. chance multiple people can get points oh, here. So but remember, if you buzz in first, the floor is yours. Jill. Savannah. Matthew. Chicago. That is correct. Oh. Do you have Oscars for me, sir? All no. right. It won Best Picture. That is correct. That is two additional points. Um... You have five more and five seconds for each one. Okay, uh, best screenplay? That is incorrect. Jill, oh, you buzzed man. in second. Uh, 
five best, Oscars to choose from. Best or uh, best music. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Love that's that's not that's not an Academy Award. Best soundtrack. Category. Best soundtrack is not a category. Savannah, the <laughs> next five Oscars to choose from for points. Um, maybe <laughs> best choreography. Oh, that's not a category, unfortunately. Um, Nicole, the floor would be yours. I have no idea. Um, that is, <laughs> I don't know who none of these people are. Is that Catherine Jada Jones? It is. In all her glory. Best supporting actress? That is four points to Nicole. Do you have four more Oscars for me? That's not Jennifer Lawrence, is it? I don't that know. I don't looks know. like her in the shadow. Um, no. Best. Somebody time has said, expired. Oh, I will have to cut the time there. But you got four points out of that. Uh, very good stuff. Wow. Uh, it, it, it did win Best Picture, Best Supporting Actress, Best Art di Direction, Best Costume oh. Design, Best Film Editing, and Best Sound. Okay. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's very good stuff, good you guys. Very good stuff, you guys. That was the end of round one. Very good stuff. <laughs> Uh, as always, we roll with the punches on Quiz Club. So no worries, Savannah. We'll we'll come back. Come on back. Uh, I'm let me trying just to redeem myself. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. Trust me, people have had worse uh, starts <laughs> to Quiz Club. Let me tell you what. We had multiple people start off with zero points in like three rounds in a row. So don't you worry about it. <laughs> and they always came back. <laughs> and they always came back. We always have comebacks on the show. Okay, let me... Mm -hmm. Uh, let me go ahead and perfect. Okay, cool. As the points stand currently, fourth place, Savannah with zero. We come on back. Don't you worry about it. It's our tagline. We come on back, Savannah. We come on back. <laughs> In third place, it's our quiz club champ, Jill with 15. Second place, it's Matthew Monaco, 17 points. Ooh. Currently in the lead for our quiz club championship, wow. Nicole with 28. Oh, wow. Very wow, good Nicole. stuff, Nicole. Very good stuff. Okay, I see it. I see it. All right. Well, we're gonna hop into our second round of Quiz Club. This is Jill and Matthew's double point round, and this is the this is a round I really love, and it's it's just a lot of fun. It's a uh, I don't kill my box office mojo, baby. Oh, yes. Now, how this one is played. <laughs> uh, I give you guys a film, uh, and you have to. Or I give you guys a film and a default figure on how much it made at the worldwide box office. Oh, geez. Um, at that point, you tell me how, if you think the action, now that's a decoy figure. So for example, let's say I say Austin Powers, let's say I say $100 million at the worldwide box office. Your job is to tell me if it's higher than that figure or lower, because that figure is just a decoy. It's not the correct answer. So you tell me, I think it's, it made more than 100 mil, or you think it made less than 100 mil. Uh, you tell me higher or lower. Uh, everyone who has the correct one, let's say it's higher. Let's say Jill and Savannah said it's higher and it's correct. Uh, Nicole and Matthew would be eliminated. Savannah and Jill would get, let me see, three points. Jill would be six points for your double points. Uh, then out of the two of you, could be three, could be four, could be all of you guys who got higher or lower correct. Out of whoever advances to the second part of each film, uh, the closer one to what figure you think it is, you get five additional points. It's a lot of points on the board. Um, questions off the bat, Savannah, you don't have to write the figure right when you write higher or lower. I'll give you a chance to write that if you get it correct uh, a second time. So I'll give you time if, you know, you can just worry about higher or lower to start. Um, oh, but you, yeah, can write, you can write, yeah, you can write the guest figure if you'd like to start off. You can do that as well. There's, there's no wrong way to do that. Uh, are there any questions? Okay. Any questions with this round, anyone? Cool. All right, let's have some fun. Uh, these are going to be uh, Oscar oh, nominees. Yes. Oh, ahead. okay. I was about to say, I'm like, is there a category to this? Okay, cool. <laughs> yes. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. Still an Oscar season, so these are Oscar nominated films. Um, these are, these did not win. I will say this. They, these were the ones that did not win Best Picture. I'll just say that. Uh, but they were in Best Picture nominations. Um, nice. Okay. So the first film throwing up on the board is Elvis from this year. Obviously it didn't win um, yet, 
but uh, it's probably not going to win. Unfortunately, <laughs> I love this movie too much. I love this movie too much. Um, but the the default figure I'm putting on the screen, two hundred million dollars. Now, go ahead and write down, uh, or type it in your phone notes, whatever, Savannah. If you think this movie made higher than two hundred mil at the worldwide box office, or lower than two hundred mil. I'll give you guys about 30 seconds to go ahead and write that down starting now. Uh, I will be going to each and every person. So uh, if you could put it in the notes in your phone, Savannah, because um, uh-huh. then I'll have you reveal your answer. But we'll start with our quiz club champ, Jill. What'd you say, higher or lower? I should probably leave it on the screen. I said higher. Higher, okay, all right. Mr. Monaco. Higher. Higher. Nicole? I put lower. Lower. Okay. Savannah? I put higher. Higher. I will say. It is higher. Woo. Sorry, Nicole. Had to kick you out. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and tell me. By the way, you all get three points. Uh, actually, that's a lie. Savannah gets three points. Matthew and Jill get six points. Now, for additional points, go ahead and tell me how much you think it made. The closer one out of you three gets five additional points. Ten for our double point people. Uh, but since there's only four of us in this little box, uh, I'll just have you guys show it to the screen. Uh, Jill, what'd you say? 270 million. 270. Savannah? I put, it's flipped, but it's 500 mil. It's like 500. Oh my gosh, I can't say the number. 500. Oh, so you said two, 200 mil, 500. Thousand, yeah, right. Five zero zero two zero 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 zero. Twenty or two hundred and seventy mil, two hundred fifty mil. Matthew. Yeah. Oh, I put three hundred million. Three hundred mil. Well. Oh, Jill, what was your figure again? Two seventy. Two hundred seventy million. He might have beat you by two. Mil. It is 287 mil. That is closer to 300 mil. Very good stuff. Matthew gets 10 additional. Honestly, I'm good at this round, but this I actually did not know. Oh, man. That was really good instincts right there. Very good stuff. Very good stuff. All right. Uh, Next film. This was was a movie I actually really wanted to win Best Picture last year. I'm glad that Coda won, but this is a movie I was petitioning for. Um, It is King Richard. King Richard, Will Smith, and about Serena Williams. Love that. All right. Uh, go ahead and tell me. Oh, let me give you the figure. $40 million. Did it make lower than 40 mil or higher than 40 mil? I'll give you guys 30 seconds to do that. That was a good movie. It's a really good movie, yeah. Nicole, Savannah, did you guys watch King Richard? Mm-mm. Yeah. Really? I'm not going to chance mm-hmm. to watch it. I know it was on HBO. Yeah, that is so. good though. It is the honor. Yep, Will Smith won the Best Actor award for it. Mm-hmm. Oh, we know. oh, we know. Oh, yeah, we know. <laughs> <laughs> we know what went down. Uh, for King Richard, let's see what you guys said. Uh, Jill, what'd you say? I said higher. Higher. Savannah? Higher. Higher. Nicole? I said higher. Higher. Matthew? I said lower. Lower, folks. That will be six points to Matthew. And since you're the only one here, you do get 10 additional points right off the bat. That that is 16 points. Oh, my. To you. Unfortunately, as good as this movie was, unfortunately, it was a box office bomb. Oh, and yeah, wow. it didn't 39 mil, just oh, wow. short shy of 40 mil. Wow. Yeah, it didn't do well at box office, but uh, it definitely did pretty well at what? the Oscars. I will say. That's crazy. Yeah, Beyonce should have won, by the way, for the Oscar for that song, but it's all right. We'll move on. Okay. All right, next film. Uh, this one, if you noticed already, we're going in reverse chronological order. This was from two years ago. Uh, it is Judas and the Black Messiah. Mm-hmm. Daniel Kaluuya. Uh, Lakeith Stanfield. Um, Nice. And then the figure I'm putting on the screen. Remember, this was a pandemic era. Seven million dollars. Did it make higher or did it make lower? 
keep that in mind. Seven mil. That's probably like that's an opening weekend for like a the fifth most popular movie at a movie theater, right, Matthew? <laughs> yeah. That's not a lot of money. But again, no. it was the pandemic. Uh we'll go with Matthew. Matthew, higher or lower? All right, going with my gut. Higher. Higher. Nicole? I put higher. Higher, Savannah. Ah, uh, I hate to say it, but I think you made a little bit lower. Lower. Really? Chill. I said higher. Higher, oh God, folks. Oh, man. <laughs> it did make higher. Savannah oh, wow. was eliminated. That, but that is points to the three of you guys going right down how much you think it made. Six points to Jill, six to Matthew, three to Nicole. Uh, Matthew, let's see what you got. Going with my instincts, 7.1 million. 7.1. Nicole? I put 11. 11. Yeah. Jill? <laughs> I put 15. 15. I that don't know, man. <laughs> 10 points to Matthew. Oh, 7.4 no. oh million. <laughs> I just um, went with my I mean, instincts. Oh my god. That is 10 points oh, to Matthew. Man. Storming into first place, Matthew oh, is. No man. worries. We still have two more films to go to. It's two more films. Don't you worry. Two more films. Again, this was 2019, I believe. Yes, 2019. Uh, film that they actually filmed right outside of uh, AMDA, uh, which is pretty cool. It is Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. The default figure I'm putting on the screen, Quentin Tarantino, $500 million, half of a billion dollars. Did it make higher or did it make lower? Uh, let's go ahead and get uh, answers. Nicole, what'd you say? I didn't see this, so let's start with that. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You said, wait, which one did you say? Lower. Lower. Savannah? Sorry, excuse me. I think it made higher. Higher. Jill? I said lower. Lower. Matthew? Competition here. I put higher. Higher. Folks, I can confirm. It is lower. Woo! <laughs> you ladies do get points. Like five so to nervous. Nicole. Five to <laughs> Nicole. Uh, or no, sorry, not five. Is it five? Three. Five. Three. No, it is five. Oh. It's five. It's three for correct, uh, five for additional. I messed up your points the first time, Nicole, so you're actually at 10 points this round. Okay. Uh, Jill, you are at – that one got you 10 points right there. Wait, how? I thought it was so six it's points. Three, higher, lower, five for additional. So you had did have three. Yet, uh, you had six. But this one, correct, would bring you up to 18. And if you get it right – We'll go from there. I actually think I messed up Nicole's really quick. So you got, hold on. While you guys figure out your default figures, let me figure out Nicole's points. <laughs> All right, Nicole, do you by chance have a note? Have your notes of, of what you got correct? Um, yeah. So I put, I got five for uh, Judas and the Black Messiah being higher. And then... that was supposed to be three. My apologies. Three, and oh, then. It's... Okay. Were you the closest one to Judas? No, that was Matthew. Yeah. Uh, but you got this one correct, so you're at six. That's what it was. You're at six. Jill's currently at 18. All right. Out right. of the two of you guys, let's see what you guys said for whoever's closer. Jill, what do you got? I said 472. 472. Nicole? I put 300 million. 300. Can't confirm. Five points to Nicole. Ooh. 377. That was yeah. close. It was 100 mil to 70. Yeah. 70 mil? What did wow. you say? You said 300, right, Nicole? Something like yeah. that. Yeah. Nice. Very good nice. stuff. That will be okay. five points to Nicole. Very good stuff. All right. One more film on I this am, round. One, oh, more film. Yeah. Okay. One more film with this round. Uh, this was the 2018 for Best Picture. Did not win. Uh, this one is 
Black Klansman. The default figure I'm putting on the screen. $80 million. Did it make higher or did it make lower? Uh, let's go and see what you guys said. Uh, Matthew, what'd you say? Higher, lower? I put higher. Higher. Nicole? I put higher. Higher. Savannah? Higher. Higher. Jill? I put lower. Lower. Folks. <laughs> it is higher. Go ahead and tell me what you guys think. How much you guys think it made. Go ahead and tell me. It did make higher. That is going to be six points to Matthew. Uh, da -da -da. Uh, three to Savannah. Three to Nicole. Go and tell me how much you guys think it made. Savannah, we'll start with you. Savannah, what'd you say? Um, I said one twenty mil. One twenty. Nicole. Yeah. I put ninety five. Ninety five. Matthew. <laughs> I put ninety six million. Oh. <laughs> Oh, no. 96. I will confirm. It's going to be five points going to Nicole. 93. Oh, million. man. So close. Wow. Very good that spot. was Very really good close. Five points to you, Nicole. Uh, let me go ahead and add up your points. Very good stuff to you guys. That was the end of round two. Quiz it's only been 48 stuff. minutes. <laughs> we are doing great with time. Look at that. All right, let me go ahead and update these points real quick, and then we will jump into our intermission part of Quiz Club. Ooh. Look at that. All right. <laughs> well, I will confirm. As the points stand so far in fourth place, Savannah with six. No worries. We come on back. We come on back. That's We always have comebacks on Quiz Club. We come on back. In third place, it's our Quiz Club champ, Jill, with 33 come on back as always we come on back she's got that title come on back mm -hmm. in second place nicole with 47 very good stuff nice. nicole very good stuff currently in first matthew with 71 what oh my god Whoa, how did i get to 71 <laughs> oh man right. <laughs> Folks, it is a it is a mountain <laughs> I'm it is sorry. a mountain like, oh man fine it's fine it's fine it is going to be a mountain to climb. But before, uh, always, before we do our um, third round of Quiz Club, our final round of Quiz Club, we have our intermission portion. Now, we have two intermission games or whatever activities we do. Uh, we, will do an, we will do an actual intermission for us. We'll take a five to ten minute break in between the two of those. So we'll do this one, then we'll take a break, and then we'll do the – well, we'll do the Oscar voting first, take a break. Then we'll do the bracket for the tournament. Then we'll jump into round three. And it looks like we'll probably finish under two hours, so I'm excited. Uh, nice. Well, I will say this next uh, portion is our Quiz Club Oscar uh, voting. We vote as, as a collective of Quiz Club. This is as if we were the Academy and we're voting on uh, films that were nominated. So hopefully you guys have seen some. Yeah, hopefully you guys have seen some. Uh, mm -hmm. I know Jill's already – no, Jill has not filled this out yet but matthew has i know matthew's the only one who has filled this out uh, so matthew if you have any updates any changes let me know if you've seen anything new out of the oscar nominated stuff but uh yeah we'll go with there uh for example this is what it's going to look like so i have a couple categories i have eight in total we'll go quick um but it looks like this so we have the recipients these are actually oscar nominated and then i have a voting system so you're going to notice there's five, four, three, two, one. You're going to notice I only go up to three, and that's because I've only seen three films. I have not seen The Sea Beast. I have not seen Marcel. Uh, but I have seen Pinocchio, Puss in Boots, and Turning Red. So basically, that's my just my personal opinion. Uh, I give the most votes to what movie I think would win if I were to vote and I was on the Academy board. So that's basically what that is. Um, I, yeah, and it goes from there. Um, I won't reveal what everybody else has voted. I have a screen that is filled with uh, votes that are currently from the past like three episodes. But I will not show that until next episode to kind of keep the suspense building. Um, but yeah, uh, again, if you haven't seen it, it's okay. This is These are not for points. This is just for like a fun little Oscar thing that we do uh, the past couple episodes. Um, so we'll actually jump right into that first. Uh, I want to hear really quick to the ladies and see if you guys have seen these and what you guys think. Uh, Jill, uh, to my knowledge, you've seen three of these, correct? Mm -hmm. 
Okay. I'm just, and uh, it's Pinocchio, Puss in Boots, turning red, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, does the voting system, first of all, does the voting system make sense to you? Do you have any questions on that? No, it makes sense. Okay. So if you were the Academy and you had a ballot, what movie would you give three votes to is the most? Two and then one. What, what is your thought process for best animated film this year? You know, I mean, I feel like Pinocchio is probably going to win, but I enjoyed Puss in Boots more. Oh, okay. So, but like, are um, we doing it based show? on like what we want or what we think will win? Personal opinion. Strictly all your opinion. That's as if like the collective of Quiz Club and everybody who's comp like competed, it's as if we had the ballots ourselves. Pretty much it. You know what? I'll give it to Pinocchio. I always I always like contradict myself. But I'll give I would give three votes to Pinocchio, um okay. two to to Puss in Boots and then one to Turning Red. All right. All right. Is there a reason why you put Turning Red at one? I just don't really, I don't know. It's just not my favorite. <laughs> Out of the three, it's not my favorite. Yeah. That's fair. That's fair. All right. Uh, Nicole, uh, out of these, uh, which ones have you seen? Turning red. Right. Nice. <laughs> okay. Okay. You, know, you haven't like, seen. Uh, it was really cute. Nice. Um, you haven't seen Puss in Boots yet? No, I haven't, but Jillian was telling me that it was good. So, so good. It's I'll very good. It. It's very good. Nice. Okay. Do you have any quick thoughts on Turning Red, though? I thought it was really cute. I feel like we don't really have... Oh, no. I'm starting to lag. No. There we go. What happened? Oh. What happened? Oh. No, I think I was just lagging a bit. All right. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Um... For me, at least, I thought Turning Red was really cute as far as the concept. Like, we don't really have an Asian American type. That's true. That's very you know? true. Um, so, yeah, Alan and I watched it. He liked it. So, nice. it was cute. Nice. Uh, you don't have to vote if you've only seen one, but would you give your vote to Turning Red since it's the only one you've seen? I would, but I mean, I don't know if I saw the other ones, if I would like them more. But no, I'll still give my vote to Turning Red. Okay. We'll take it. We'll take it. Uh, Savannah, have you seen any of these uh, this year? Have you seen any of these? I feel bad because I have it. But the only film that like everyone was like really hyped over was Puss in Boots. Yeah. So if I had to give my vote, it would be <laughs> to Puss in Boots. Yes. I will say it is a movie you should watch. You don't have to watch the first one because technically it's a sequel. Um, but uh, you can ask Matthew. We all know it is apparently the highest rated Shrek universe film, like with audiences and critics or something like that. Like it's, for, it is for, yeah, critically for, acclaimed. For tomatoes. It has like a 95%. Yeah. What? Yeah, it's very highly regarded. So definitely check it it's out. So um, it's very well done. And it's still in theaters. So if you guys... AMC five dollar ticket Tuesdays. You guys can go see it. Uh, yeah, there you go. Little plug in. <laughs> Just trying to sales pitch. Uh, nice, Matthew. Have you seen any anything new? Do you want to change any of your votes so far, or are you sticking with what you had? Uh, just sticking with what I have. But I will say this, because again, knowing the Academy, they they, it's always those specific movies that you know that the Academy is going uh, to pick. Because to yeah. be sincerely honest, Puss in Boots just it it really deserves it. Yeah. But I but knowing the Academy, it's definitely going to the uh, to uh, Pinocchio. Yeah. Yeah. I, that's a, yeah. Had Pinocchio not been here, I, I can see Puss in Boots taking the win. Nice. All right. Uh, next next category we have is Best Supporting Actor. Uh, Savannah, I'll go to you first. Have you seen any of these films this year? Uh, the only one out of all of these I've seen is Everything Everywhere All at Once. Nice. So okay. Nice. That movie's so amazing. Like, I was, I cried <laughs> during that movie. That movie is just, it, it's just something I feel like we have not seen in a while. And yeah. it's like, it's just so vulnerable and so deep. And, 
Oh my gosh, I love that movie. I so agree. yeah, my vote goes to that. <laughs> as it should, as it should. <laughs> uh, Kihai, Kihai Kwan absolutely killed it in that movie. Yeah. Uh, I'm. He's winning the Oscar and I'm excited. Uh, nice. Uh, I will say uh, Brian Tyree Henry in Causeway was a really good performance. Uh, Barry Keoghan for Banshees was also really good too. But uh, yeah, Key, Key is winning. He should win because that movie made everyone cry. Uh, Nicole, uh, have you seen any? Have you seen Everything Everywhere? That's my main question. Is have you seen that movie? Okay, good. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like they should have had an epilepsy warning on that movie because it was like <laughs> yeah. it was too much. It was too yeah, much. it was a little too much. It was a little much. Um, but no, yeah, I, like Savannah said, I, I liked it. It was very emotional, very emotional. Yeah. I actually watched it again the other day nice. with my fiance's mom. She had no idea what was going on. Oh. But, <laughs> if you know her, you know that's expected. She was just like, so oh, funny. "Okay, okay, <laughs> different, right?" Nice. Okay. But, okay. Um, yeah, it was good. There was something that the dad said about like being kind to people when you don't mm. understand. Yeah, something. And I was like, mm-hmm. like um, we should all be kind to each other because we don't even know what's going on. Or yeah. Something. yeah, yeah. But it was like there's just so many messages with that. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's so true. Yeah, nice. Okay, uh, Matthew, do you have any changes to this one? I know nope. no changes. Cool. No. Uh, all right, Jill. Uh, I've. I think you've seen you've seen Fablemans. We saw it together, and you saw everything everywhere. Um, what is your? What do you think between Judd Hirsch and uh, Kihai Kwan? Hold on. Who was Judd Hirsch? Who was his character? What was his character? He was the basically the the uncle, the old man in the Fablemans. Mm. Is the one scene in the bedroom? Yeah, it's a really good scene. To be fair, but I think that was the only scene. Not wasn't the only scene he was in, but he had very little screen time. Oh well, I have to look him up. <laughs> yeah, true. I have to look him up because I literally do not remember. He had a very small role. Like he was not a, he was a supporting. He was supporting. Well then, if I can't even remember his, if I can't even remember. (laughs) I'm just going to go. was in the whole movie. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I'm going to go. No, because I really, yeah, everything everywhere then. Mm -hmm. I'm giving two votes to Uh, that. And I guess one for Judd Hirsch. (laughs) Because I don't remember (laughs) Who he was in this film. No worries, no worries. Uh, let me just add that. I'm just calculating the points. I will say this one is pretty, like, it looks like it looks like everybody on Quiz Club wants Key Hai Kwan to win. So. He was really good in that, yeah. He yeah. was really good. Nice, okay. Uh, moving on to Best Supporting Actress. This one has been getting real. I don't know if you guys are in the know with Oscars and what's winning with the awards. It's very conflicted right now. Um, Angela Bassett obviously is the front runner so far. It seems like the critics love Hong Chow, the Baftas love Carrie Condon, and then you have the Everything Everywhere people who are still killing it. Like this is a great cast. This five. Um, this one's really hard. I actually voted uh, earlier today, so I'll, I'll actually share mine before I get to you guys. Um, I voted Hong Chow for five because she absolutely did such a phenomenal job for the whale. Uh, four, I gave to Angela Bassett because although she was on screen for like four minutes, she killed it. Uh, three, I gave to Stephanie Sue, a very emotional performance. I thought she was really good. Uh, two to Jamie Lee Curtis, one to Carrie Condon. That's what I thought. Um, Nicole, we'll go to you first. You've seen Wakanda Forever. Obviously, we showed it to you and everything. So you have at least three films, unless you've seen The Whale. <laughs> uh, what do you think? I don't think I have. Um yeah. No, it doesn't. It doesn't sound familiar. Um, hmm, it's kind of tough because the daughter, like, although her character though bothered me so much, <laughs> it it just reminded me of like teenage angst, you know. Yeah. And at the same time, like, okay, I understand. Kind of how you feel, you know, saying nothing really matters, so why bother? But it's almost like you just want everyone to then just be in pain with you. Why? That just, ah, it, it bothered me so much. 
But I do think she played that character really well. Um, Jamie Lee Curtis, I mean, she was good. I don't think she was better than Stephanie, though. Yeah. No. Um, I don't know, but also Wakanda Forever was so good. She Dante. She only was on screen for like five minutes, but like she killed it. You really felt her pain. Like yeah. her one monologue, she was yeah. saying about how uh, had she not given everything up to her, her husband's mm-hmm. dad, the Black Panther's gone. That was just like you felt that, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I feel like I'd give it to Angela Bassett first and then Stephanie. Okay. And then. So you've seen three, right? Yeah, you have seen three. Okay. So you would give Angela Bassett three, correct? Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. And then which one for two? And then Stephanie and then Jamie Lee. Okay, all right. Two and then one. All right. Uh, nice. Jill, uh, what are your thoughts? I would give, I'm giving Angela Bassett four votes. I'm giving mm-hmm. Hong Chow three votes. I'm giving Jamie Lee Curtis two and Stephanie Sue one. All right. What are your, uh, what are your reasonings? Uh, I don't know. Angela Bassett, like, she was just, like, stellar. Um, Hong Chao, she was really good in The Whale. She was really good. Um, I mean, you already know how I feel about everything I've ever heard. <laughs> you, you kind of already know. I mean, I, I... I already told you how I felt about Stephanie Sue's like character and her performance. Um, Mm. I don't really feel like I need to get into that. Um, uh, So yeah, but like, I just feel like Jamie Lee Curtis, you know, she, she was in my opinion, a little bit better. I don't know. I just, I just, that's just how I feel. I don't want to like go into like how, I don't know. Yeah. That's fair. I like Stephanie Sudo. She's really good. Nice. Um, she's a really good singer. Hmm. Nice. Isn't she, you were telling me something fun fact about her. What was it? Um, she was on the main Broadway I cast saw or something? Her on Broadway in Be More Chill. Mm. And she's also cool. in, um, she's also in Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. And she's really good in that show. That's what it was. That's what it was. Yeah. Nice. So yeah. Okay. Cool. Savannah, uh, you're next. I'm assuming you saw Black Panther by the way you uh, gestured with with Nicole's. So you have at least three films. Have you seen The Whale by any chance? I have not. The only two okay. was The Banshees and The Whale. Of those okay, I haven't okay. seen. Right, but so I was curious, thoughts? how does like the ranking work from like one to five? So five votes would be your, that's the one you're like all chips in the center. Um, oh, okay. That's the one you're like most votes to. Uh, and then four would be next, three, two, one. And if you've only seen three, it'd be three, two, one. If you've only seen two, two and one, that type of thing. Um, okay. So yeah, I would know what you guys mean. I know Jill and Nicole, you guys, or not Nicole, Jill was saying one to two, two, whatever. I already know what you meant, so uh, no worries. But yeah, what are your thoughts on the two movies you've seen, The Three Ladies? Um. Oh, I was honestly, it was tied really between Angela Bassett and Stephanie, because their performances were just so outstanding. Like, I, mm. oh, but honestly, I think five would have to go to Stephanie, though. Like, that okay. to me, like, between the costume changes and mm. like, her character as a daughter and Jobu yeah. like, it was just, it's amazing. So I think I have to give the five to Stephanie and then the four okay. to Angela. Oh, okay. and then three to Jamie Lee, and then I guess one to both of the movies I haven't seen. Sorry, I haven't seen them. So you, so you actually, sorry, you would do uh, Jamie Lee the third out of the three you've seen, right? Yeah. Okay, nice. I got what you meant, so it's all good. Oh, oh sorry. Okay. <laughs> You're all good, I, I, got, I understood what you meant. Uh, Matthew, do you have any changes, any updates to yours? Have you seen, well, you've seen them all, I'm assuming, so I think- No, you- I, I haven't seen, uh, the, the Banshees of Inish. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. Nice. Do you have any changes to what you gave me? 
Nope. Angela Bassett, literally the the queen herself, both figuratively and literally. <laughs> she just yeah, literally. <laughs> she deserves it. Like honestly, yeah. man, she she was the standout. I felt I felt like she was the star, to be honest. Yeah. More than really Black well. Panther herself. But yeah. she, she I felt like that she was just the star of the film. And you know, because movie wise, with phase four being completed, movie wise with Black Panther Wakanda Forever, I'm just like, phase four has done nothing but crush our souls with these That's deaths. That's true. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, That's very true. <laughs> The Queen and, and Aunt May. It's like, come on. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Spoiler alert, but that is true. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah. whoops. Everybody's seen it. Well, okay, everybody's, okay. everybody's here. Is just, yeah, everyone here has seen it. So let's just hope Jake doesn't watch this portion of the episode. All oh, right. Uh, nice. Well, next, we'll move on to the screenplay portions. That is original screenplay. Um, ba -ba -bum. I think I did this one as well today. I did not. Um. But Jill, you just saw Triangle of Sadness, so we'll start with you. Um, and you've seen everything, Fableman's and Triangle of Sadness. What are your initial thoughts for three votes, two and one? Original screenplay. Hmm. Um, hmm. I would probably do... Uh, I would probably do three votes to the Fablemans. Interesting. Two mm. votes to Everything Everywhere. Wow. I was really not expecting that. I was ready for and you to say everything. <laughs> it was. It was. I was there. going back and forth, but I don't know. Nice. Okay. Um, and then one vote to Triangle of Sadness. Okay. Not a fan. No. <laughs> <laughs> all right and uh, nicole um is it only oh, everything of where you've seen yeah <laughs> nice all right one for that one do you want to vote or you don't have to but you can if you'd like sure why not all right so let's do it why not right. uh savannah um i heard tar was really good but the only one that i've seen is everything everywhere all at once so all my nice. votes Go to that. I love that movie. Nice. Okay. Cool. Uh, Matthew, uh, any changes to yours? Nope. Nice. Making it making my job easy, good sir. All right. Next, adapted <laughs> screenplay. Uh, this one's a little. This one's fun. All quiet, glass onion, living, Top Gun, Maverick, and women talking. Uh, I've only seen four. Uh, Matthew, we'll start with you. Do you have any changes? Uh, nope. <laughs> nice love to see it savannah have you seen glass onion or top gun those are like the most popular ones i uh, hate to say it but i haven't um no! i think the one that was most popularized that i saw was all quiet on the western front interesting okay, but okay. just a little controversial little thing out there it's really hard for me to watch like military movies like especially mm -hmm. with like war and stuff Mm -hmm. So I wasn't really interested in watching that either. I have not heard of living or women talking though, but I did hear of Glass Onion and Top Gun Maverick. So yeah, <laughs> that's my little tidbit. Would you give a vote to All Quiet or no? Uh, honestly, <laughs> if I have to do a blind vote, if I did have to do a blind vote, I would probably give it to Glass Onion. Nice. You should watch it. It's on Netflix. That's yeah, I heard it. I heard it's really good. I'll watch it when I get it's this. It's very good. Yeah, very good. Nice. Okay, uh, Nicole. Uh, which what, obviously we saw Glass Onion together again. Uh, mm -hmm. What do you think of? Well, you did you watch Top Gun? Yeah. Okay. Nice. What are your thoughts on the two? So I did like it, but the thing about me is I don't really like hype culture. So, you know what I mean? Like, is it good because it's actually good? Or is it good because everyone is just watching it and they're telling you it's yeah. good? Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yeah. but at the same time, I did enjoy Top Gun. Um, the, shoot, I think I did watch the first one, though. I, I didn't like the first one. They were all sweaty all the time. Yeah, that movie I didn't like it either. <laughs> Why are you shiny? 
wife. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it was it was okay. I was expecting like my life to change after watching that. <laughs> that we're talking about it, but yeah. it was it was literally just okay. It was cute. It was okay. The guy from freaking what what's that show? Insecure. Yeah. I was like, oh, cool. He's in here. You know. Oh, <laughs> which one? Jay Ellis. Uh, oh, really? Mm -hmm. He has limited speaking parts. He literally, <laughs> but he was in it. So I'm like, great for him. You know, oh, nice. a little choice. Oh, wow. But um, I did love Glass Onion. I thought it was really good. I like mystery, um, movies like that. And the first one was good. So yeah. So what are your votes? What do you? Side note. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. A um, little side note because Issa Rae's supposed to be in the Barbie movie, so I can't wait for that. Really? She is. Yeah. Ooh. Oh dang. Right. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited for that then. Yeah. Um, I would give two votes to Glass Onion, one vote to Dawn. Okay. Okay. All right. Nice. All right. And then Jill, what are your thoughts? Um, Did I already go to you? No. I'd probably oh. do two votes to Top Gun, one for Glass Onion. Oh, is there a reason why you're giving script over to Top Gun instead of Glass Onion? That's interesting. Oh, screenplay. It? <laughs> <laughs> what does adapted mean? Like, was it a book? It was originally something? either a novel or a... Uh, like a book or a play, yeah. Okay, so then probably, yeah, never mind. I forgot it was screenplay. Um, probably Knives Out and then Top Gun. So two, two for Knives Out, one for Top Gun. Okay. Yeah. All right. Nice, nice. Okay. Uh, next is Best Lead Actor. This one's been really fun recently because mm -hmm. everybody thought Brendan Fraser was going to win. It looks like Austin Butler is like sweeping every film festival that's out there, and, and that's a lot. Um, this one's been tough for me personally because I love Elvis so much, my favorite movie of the year. Oh, no. Oh, God. Matthew's gone. Uh, <laughs> we'll have him come back in a minute. But uh, yeah, I love Elvis as a movie. That, oh, that movie, oh, it's my favorite movie from last year. And Brendan Fraser killed it in The Whale. Really resurrected his career. Uh, but it looks like Austin Butler might win the Oscar. But I want to see what you guys think. Uh, Jill, you've seen two of these. The Whale and Elvis. What do you think? Out of I got to give Fraser. it to Austin. Two votes for Austin. One for Brendan Fraser. Mm. I need to that. watch Banshees, though. Like I need to get to that. Um, you already know how I feel about this thing. <laughs> like... You already know how I feel about the whole movie, Will. It was not my favorite. Um, plus, Austin was just so good. Like, he was really so good. good as Elvis. Like, yeah. Yeah. So, two votes for him. Okay. Nice. Uh, Nicole, did you watch Elvis by any chance? None of these. I've seen Elvis. Oh, you haven't seen Elvis? No. Oh, it's that's the only thing with high culture. I'm like, ah. Nicole, it's so good. I don't so know if good. it was that hyped, though. Like, it wasn't. Was it? That's the thing. It wasn't. I feel like it was. I feel like it was. I feel like it was. Really? Yes. And I just never just... really... I don't know. We'll see. Is it out on streaming yet? If it comes out on, on HBO streaming. Max. I think it's on HBO. Yeah, it's on HBO it is, Max. Yeah, yeah. It's, on, it's on HBO Max. So definitely watch it. It's. Yeah. I will say the movie itself is pretty long, but very worth and it. And then there's that. It. Like, I... I have a job, you know? Like That's fair. <laughs> that is fair enough. All right. Yeah. Uh, Savannah, have you seen Elvis? I have not seen Elvis. I've no. just seen the hype of him <laughs> doing Elvis, really. Yeah. Because he's been walking around with, like, the accent for, like, a year now. Oh, so. my God. Literally, yeah. That's, that's <laughs> like, yeah. That's like, funny. Yeah, I forgot about like, that. I don't even, I don't even really want to watch it anymore. Like, the movie's done. You're not in character anymore. Like, I feel that. Yeah. Back to regular that's scheduled true. program. Yeah. <laughs> But um, I That's have so not seen any of these other movies, but I have heard Paul Mescal is really good. Uh, he was he, in yeah. that other TV show. Um, I forgot the name. 
Like he was in that, it was like a Hulu, like original or like adapted original or something like that. Hmm. Um, so he's really good in that. But other than that, I haven't, I haven't seen any of these. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Matthew, do you have any changes to yours? I think you had two votes for Brendan, one for Austin. Yes. And that's okay. it. Nice. Right, okay. And the by the way, I'm said. sorry, because out of nowhere, my computer decided to uh, turn off and do updates. Oh, God. <laughs> what so happens? I, no worries. So I went So I went to my phone, and now on my computer it says, you know, this will take a while. And I'm like, yeah, thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> no worries, Matthew. No worries. Uh, next, two more left, folks. Two more, and then we'll take our little intermission, is Best Leading Actress. Uh, I feel like... Again, to keep you guys in the know, Kate Blanchett is the front runner. She's winning a lot of everything. Um, we've kind of already said it. Daniel Deadweiler from Till and uh, Viola Davis, Woman King, were absolutely robbed of this nomination from the get go. Yeah, I still, I'm still pushing for Michelle Yeoh personally, uh, but I want to see what you guys think. Uh, Matthew, uh, do you have any changes, updates to yours? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> love it. Love it. Uh, <laughs> Nicole, have you seen, you've seen everything. Have you seen Blonde? Mm-mm. I don't think you'd like it. I'm going to be honest. I think you'd like it. Yeah, I don't think you'd um, like it. All right. Say less. Yeah, I love <laughs> Michelle Yeoh. I, I think she's great. I feel like there's not enough representation of other cultures. Yes, I agree. So She should win it. She should win it. Nice. Um, Chill. You've seen just everything in Fablemans. What do you think between the two Michelles? <laughs> Um. Uh. I, yeah, it's probably gonna be two votes for Michelle Yeoh and one for Michelle Williams. I just can't believe that Viola Davis is not on here. Yeah. yeah. I just like. Yeah. I can't believe Daniel Deadweiler's not on here. Matthew and I and mm -hmm. everybody's in agreement. She was absolutely robbed. If you saw yep. Till. Savannah, did you watch Till by any chance? Uh, it's just hard for me to like watch yeah. stuff like that. It's a yeah, hard so movie. I'm I gonna can. have to bow out it's on tough. that one. Okay. No, it's you are <laughs> yeah, completely same. okay with that. I feel like, and that's that's the conspiracy theory I have is that I feel like the Academy nobody saw it, and that's the reason why she didn't get nominated because just not enough people saw it, and it's sad because she should win, and she's not even here. Yeah, it's like trauma movies. Yeah. I can't. I can't. Yeah. Can't way do it. too much yeah it's, i don't watch them too heavy. like we have so many other stories to tell yeah yeah that's fair well like i said uh, i always say those movies are not for us to watch they're not they're yeah just, like, they're, they're not <laughs> they can be made like they need to be made sure but like we don't need to watch them yeah yeah, yeah. That's, fair. that's fair like that is, yeah. well savannah i did you watch blonde i attempted to watch it i can't <laughs> You can at and least that's, chime that's in, another, I guess. That's just another movie I just felt like I could not watch. Yeah, and then I watched just weird. bits and pieces of it, and I was like, this is weird. I can't. I yeah. can't subjugate myself to this. Yeah. Uh, I feel like Hollywood has a weird obsession with Marilyn Monroe. Yeah. And it's just gotten well, more and more weird each and every yeah. year. Oh. Yeah. And I don't know All why they keep making movies. Yeah. Like, yeah. Why? <laughs> well, so out of Ana de Armas, yeah. What do you think? All my, all my votes goes uh, to Michelle Yeoh. Love that movie. Love everyone in it. <laughs> nice. I'll give you the two, Michelle Yeoh. Looks like Michelle Yeoh is leading that as well. Uh, that's mm -hmm. awesome. Cool. Last one, folks. This one's fun. This one's ten nominations. Best Picture. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, always, uh, if you've seen more than five, you get to eliminate some. Uh, we have All Quiet on the Western Front, Avatar, The Way of Water, Banshees, Elvis, Everything Everywhere, The Fablemans, Tar, Top Gun Maverick, Triangle of Sadness, and Women Talking. Uh, just to give you guys an update on what I said, I gave five votes to Everything Everywhere, four to Elvis, three to Avatar, two to The Fablemans, and one to Top Gun Maverick. Uh, nice. Matthew, do you have any changes to yours? You said five to Fibman's, four to Avatar, three to Top Gun, two to Elvis, and one to everything. Nope. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, Nicole, out of these 10, refresh my memory really quick. How many have you seen out of the 10? Two. 
Okay. And it's everything and Top Gun? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. For best picture, what would you vote? Two and one. I would give it to everything everywhere. I just feel like as far as stories being told, like Top Gun is just it just seems like another story, like another, there's nothing pizzazzy about it. Yeah. Oh, it's just a bunch of men just flying around. It's, <laughs> it's whatever, you know, they're trying to like outrank each yeah. other. He's the alpha male and I don't care about none of that. <laughs> Damn, um, nice. nice. Yeah. Okay. I just feel like everything everywhere had, it, it told an original story. It had yeah. messages, it had, you know, like a happy ending. It just, it was, everything was buttoned up. Yeah. And Top Gun is like, oh, that's, that seems like a fun day. <laughs> yeah, good old vacation good. trip. I like it. <laughs> right. Cool. All right. Savannah, out of the 10, how many have you seen? I've only seen everything everywhere. All <laughs> you haven't seen Avatar. I'm surprised you're not one of the uh, two billion, it seems like, who's seen Avatar too. <laughs> I've only seen the animated version of Avatar. <laughs> So, yeah. <laughs> so, all my votes go to everything, everywhere at once. Everything, like I just, as it should. I uh, My thoughts will always be the same on that. It's just an amazing movie. Like, I feel like we have not seen anything like this. Like, I feel yeah. like it's just, I feel like this should be the movie of the decade. Like, it's just yeah. so good. It's, yeah. Yeah, it's a movie everyone should watch. That's yeah. Sure. Nice. Jill, how many out of the 10 have you seen? I think you've seen more than four. I've seen six. Ooh, okay. So you, I'm assuming Avatar, Elvis, everything, Fableman's, Top Gun, and Triangle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. What are your thoughts? Five to five to one. One will be biting the dust, and I feel like I know which one it is. This is just really hard. Um, gosh, like... <sighs> okay, maybe if I do it like opposite, um, I'd probably do, I'd probably give one vote to Top Gun because I just, uh, I just don't see it as, it doesn't give me best picture vibes. Mm -hmm. So one vote to Top Gun, I'd probably give four votes to... Hold on, hold on. One and then, wait, are you doing one and then two and then three and then four and then five? Or are you jumping I'm from one to four? Uh, wait, what? I'm doing, I'm doing one to five. Oh, okay. Like basically Sorry, you my said least. four. Got you. I understand now. Go ahead. Oh. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, no, I see good. what you mean. Do, yeah, do your thing. Okay, do your okay. Do your so one vote to Top Gun, two votes to... Avatar, three votes to, uh, this is so hard, I don't know. Three votes to probably Fableman's. Okay. Ah, see, but the thing is, like, I feel like, I feel like everything everywhere is probably going to win. But, like, I don't know if that's how I feel truly in my heart. So, I'm like, okay, honestly, like, Nicole and Savannah, I feel like everything everywhere was, like, very much hype culture. Like, I feel like it was very right. hype. It was very hyped for me. It's and... a salty take, babe. No, but you, you already know this. Like, you know how I felt after we saw the movie. I was like, okay. Like, I feel like there was so much hype. That's that true. But... After I saw, I was like, okay. Like, it was very different. Like, I don't know. It just, but I feel like that's the one that's going to win. So I feel like I just have to say like, okay, yeah. Like, all my five <laughs> votes are going to go to everything everywhere. But... But then again, I don't know where else I would give my five votes to. 
So like well, I have you gave everything every you gave everything but Elvis and everything everywhere. So if it wasn't no, everything, but that's what I'm saying. It it's Elvis. like that's why I like because I don't think Elvis is five votes for me. Personally, I don't even think any of these choices would give me five. Like I would give five votes. Oh, wow. Like I feel like there was a <laughs> lot of snub <laughs> movies. I feel like there was they a lot stuff. of. Is what she's no, I just feel like I don't know. Like I just I feel like so many things were snubbed that I'm just like, okay, well, if these are my options, like whatever, but yeah, uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna have to give five votes to everything everywhere and four to Elvis. Like, I, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> well, good, good to hear. Good Everybody's to hear. gonna well. judge me. Everybody, every, cause everybody <laughs> loves everything everywhere. And I'm just that like, is true. okay. Yeah. Uh, like, that it was true. good. It was good. Maybe like, yeah. Before we jump into our third round of Quiz Club, we have our best of 2022 tournament. We'll try not to take too long with this uh, because we do have the entire left side to get through. Um, Till, we have not had a matchup for it yet because we're still waiting on the tiebreaker of Banshees versus X. Uh, I'm just I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume that nobody has seen Banshees of Amy Sharon versus X. Am I correct? Correct. I haven't correct seen it. Correct for me, all right. Mm -hmm. It looks like that's being tied yet again. Cool. All right. Uh, well, we'll have to wait for Till's uh, opponent when we get to it. Uh, I want to skip this one because I feel like that one's going to be ooh, that's going to be tough. Let's go to the straight to the bottom. Uh, the outfit versus the Fablemans. Um, again, this is no for points. This is just personal. We'll see what collectively we all think. Um, I, I got a lot of backlash because I was one of the ones who voted for the outfit over Nope. Um, and as much as I really enjoy Outfit, I think The Fablemans is such a good movie, and I'm still salty that it beat Elvis. But because of that, I am going to give it to The Fablemans to move on. Uh, I just think it's a better well-made film in general. Uh, chill. We'll go to you next. I agree. I've given it to The Fablemans. Oh, wow. That was, that was quick. Savannah, have you seen The, uh, the Fablemans or The Outfit? I have not. Okay, okay. <laughs> no worries, no worries. Happens. Nicole, have you seen either? I haven't either. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Matthew, I feel like I already know where you're going. I know you haven't seen the outfit, but I already know where you're going. <laughs> yep. Going with the Fablemans. Such a nice. beautiful, <clears throat> honest movie. Um, and hits home for me. Steven Spielberg is one of my all-time favorite directors. Hi. It was just a beautiful film. Yeah, I definitely agree. I uh, Again, I'm still salty at beat Elvis. I'm pissed. Uh, but <laughs> if any movie is going to move on and, and go the distance, I, I, I hope it would be one that would beat Elvis. So glad the Fablemans is moving on. Next. Now, this one is going to get very interesting because I know some people have seen one and not the other. This is RRR versus The Menu. Now, this one is fun because I've seen both. RRR, if you haven't already know what it is, um, it is a three-hour-long Bollywood film that should have been nominated for Best Picture. I'm going to be completely honest with you. should have won it for Best Picture. Uh, but because it's uh, India, I don't know if there's something going on with India and America right now with all that stuff, but they did not give them the nomination. They only gave them the song that they did, which looks like, the uh, Natu Natu is going to beat uh, Rihanna and Lady Gaga this year. That's going to be very interesting to watch. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I absolutely love the menu so much. I think I need to rewatch it again because I I like that movie. I had so much appreciation for, and I think it goes. It's very underrated. Um, that movie should have been up for Best Picture. Like that's that was such a good movie. Um, I agree. But I got to go RRR. Because the storytelling in that movie is just, you have to watch it to understand. Because that's going to be the boldest claim in the world. Nobody is on that side unless you've seen RRR. Um, I got to go RRR. I'm going to be a little toxic. I'm going to go RRR. Uh, Jill, have you seen RRR yet? No. Like I asked you a few days ago to watch it before this quiz club? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I haven't right. seen it. Um, what are your What were your thoughts on uh, the menu? I thought it was really good. Um, it was, yeah, it was, 
very, very well done, in my opinion. Um, and I, I was very just like baffled watching it. It was very, I mean, yeah, it made me a, a little uncomfortable for sure. Like, I think I left the theater like very uncomfortable, <laughs> but it was like they did such a good job that I was like, wow, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Savannah, I know you've seen the menu. We talked about it briefly on Instagram. Uh, I'm assuming you haven't seen RRR? I have not. No. Although what the were menu your thoughts was, on the menu? The menu? Yeah, that was kind of like a trip and a half, honestly. Like, <laughs> it's just, yeah. <laughs> I really like the menu, though. The menu, I yeah. think, um, yeah. It's just like there's no words to really explain like what that is, but it was it was good. Yeah, it's a good movie. It's a really good movie, for sure. Yeah, uh, Nicole, I know you've also seen the menu, and I heard you liked it. Question mark. <clears throat> um, <laughs> it was an experience for sure. <laughs> it just, it kind of reminded me of. When you have too much money, you don't know what to do. Yeah. yeah. And so you seek out these, I mean, yeah, you know, it's fictional, but like, it just seems like, of course this would happen. You know what I mean? Like, it just kind of felt like, okay, you have these people there that are either too much money, don't know what to do, or the idea that like you're chasing an experience so kind of like the kind of like the emptiness behind like social media yeah does that make sense like you're just kind of hype culture mixed with like the emptiness and all that other stuff you're looking for something that's not even there like there's no substance behind it it just seems like there was like, what are you doing? That's kind of what my initial thought was. Um, yeah. Definitely an interesting concept. Oh, for yeah. For sure. I didn't see RRR, so I can't really compare. But, um, yeah, I don't know. The menu was something else. I don't know if I would watch that again. <laughs> Those are my thoughts. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, Matthew, have you seen RRR? Have you seen the menu? Actually, is a better question. I, I heard nothing but great things about both of them, but I haven't seen them. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I will. How about this? But I will like withdraw my that. vote. Nice. Love that. I didn't notice that. <laughs> I will withdraw my vote from RRR only because I want to see this matchup move on to the next episode. I want more people to watch these movies so that we can get some people. Because now we're getting to the semifinals, and I want to see... I want to see if people, you know, see what people think. So we're going to go ahead and wait for uh, that matchup. But we will be doing this next one today, hopefully. Uh, and is Everything Everywhere versus Puss in Boots. Oh. Now this is, yeah. This is possibly the best animated movie of last year versus probably the best movie of, of last year. Um, God, this one's tough. I'm going to give it to the room first. Matthew, I know you've seen both. What are your thoughts? All right. I have nothing against everything everywhere all at once, but I also love animation. And I do believe that animation is just as cinema as everything else. Yep. And I just, I love the Shrek series with all my heart. I loved it as a kid and still love it today. And I'm going with Puss in Boots. Wow. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like everything Shot. everywhere is, is going to win, but we shall see. <laughs> All right. Putting in the flag in for Puss in Boots. I like it. I like it. Uh, Nicole, I know you, you said you haven't seen Puss in Boots. Mm -mm. And then do you have any more additional things to say about everything everywhere, though? No, I, I thought it was a really good movie. Um, original concept, the messages, everything. Nice. Okay. Savannah, I know you haven't seen Puss in Boots yet. Obviously, just yeah. everything everywhere, but you should watch it. You should watch it for sure. <laughs> I mean, you already know where my vote is going. So everything, <laughs> everywhere, all at once. That gets all my applauses, all my nice. money. <laughs> nice. Love to see it. Love to see it. Jill, you've seen both. This is going to be very interesting because I also have two. So there could be a chance that we cement a win or 
There's no way we could do a tie. There's three of us. So we there's definitely going to be a movie moving on today. Very interested to see what you have to say about these two matchups. I don't know. I just, this is really hard. Um, you will make a lot of people upset I, like, if, I you, wanna, <laughs> if you go against the grain right here. Like, I want to say Puss in Boots because, like I said, you you already know how I feel about everything everywhere. You already know. But that's the thing. It's so tough because I'm like, well, I don't know. I feel like that movie is so loved. That, like, why? Like, I, <laughs> I just don't know what to do. Um, I, I, I just have to be honest with myself. I think I enjoyed Puss in Boots. Oh my God. A little bit more than everything everywhere. So I, I just have to be honest with myself. I feel like if I say everything everywhere, then I'm just like, I'm doing it because of the fact that I feel like everybody loves that movie. So Mm-hmm. I feel like I have to say that, but like, mm, um, why don't you just, I mean, I'm, I'm going to give it to Puss in Boots. I just, I have to, I'm just going to, I have to, I have to be honest with myself. I have to put myself first. <laughs> <laughs> God put me first. So, wow. Yeah, definitely. Like your opinion's obviously valid. <laughs> You're like, your opinion sucks. <laughs> I am going to be honest, though. When people get pissed next time they're on this episode and say, why the hell did Puss in Boots be everything everywhere? No offense, but Matthew Jill, I'm going to name drop the hell out of you guys. <laughs> I'm going to be like, Listen. it's them. It's those two. Listen. <laughs> I cannot believe y'all did that. That's it. I, I My vote definitely goes to everything why everywhere. Don't you I just, think that, if, if you're I think so... That, why don't you that's just not, but that's not how this goes. on and ask, ask more people to see if now it that's, goes. But that's the thing is that's the thing is like, that's why the A, like I'm not faulting Nicole or Savannah for not watching Puss in Boots before this episode. That's why I send out the brackets early so they can kind of get the chance to watch it. But that's also why I try not to make it fixed um, to make it seem like I'm like giving everything everywhere the chance. It just happened to be on this timeline on this day. Puss in Boots won. In this universe, I'm wow. so sorry. Like I feel horrible. Don't feel don't feel any type of way. Don't feel any type of way. It's Yay. just Puss and Boots will now be moving on. That's gonna be very interesting uh, to see the. I'm the, very uh, happy about that. Go ahead and use my name. <laughs> like I, I know Audrey's going to be know, pissed. Man. She was like everything. <laughs> like when I when I showed her the first time we did this bracket, she was like everything already already. It's always everything. <laughs> yeah. And I'm gonna tell her well, your ex tag team partner chose a. <laughs> <laughs> ah, wow. Well, Puss in Boots will be moving on to the winner. We will probably never know for a few months because no one decided to watch Banshees versus X on the past four episodes of Quiz Club. So we may <laughs> never know. But that is the end of our best 2022 <laughs> film tournament. Next episode, hopefully, we'll break the tie between Banshees X and break the tie of our menu. But we will also be voting for Puss in Boots versus whatever wins. Fableman's versus whatever wins menu RR, and we will also be doing Avatar versus Batman, and then Pinocchio versus Glass Onion. It's gonna be fun. Well, welcome back to the show, guys. Welcome back to the quiz. We have our last and final round of Quiz Club today. Uh, I wanted I wanted to try to hit before two hours, but we'll, we'll be getting a little bit over, a little bit over. I'm very excited again as a reminder where the points stand in fourth place. Savannah with six. No worries. We come on back, Savannah. We come on back in third place. Chill with 33. 33 points. Very good stuff. She's the champ. Keep that in mind. Second place, Nicole with 47. 47 points. And in first place, trying to reclaim that crown. It could possibly tie with the most Quiz Club wins. Matthew with 71 points. And we're going to be jumping right into this next round. We're not jumping to survival games just yet. Because the third round of Quiz Club, which is just one part of the round... It is two family, two feud. This is played just like family feud, so it's pretty simple. Ignore everything about the survival games. This is now family feud because I messed up with the with the <laughs> uh, 
there is one part to this round now that this is two family two feud. Savannah, you've seen Family Feud, I'm assuming. Yes, I have. <laughs> okay, pretty simple. Uh, there are currently, so there's only one thing to this round. There are nine slots. Uh, the number one slot obviously has the most points value. Then it goes two, three, so on and so forth. Um, yeah, I obviously will not give you guys the answers, but if you have any questions, just shoot them out. Um, for this one, it'll be going one, 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 one. So it'll go in order because it is towards the end of the round, the end of the quiz. I always have the person who is in lowest amount of points. They go first, then it goes that way. So Savannah will be starting us off. Then it'll be Jill, then Nicole, then Matthew. And that's how it'll go. All right. And this so, is for, sorry, this is for two family, two feud. This is two family, two feud. So this is no okay, okay. final round of quiz club. This is just a, like a, a last second, third round of quiz club. Uh, yeah. All right. And this one, this one was the one I was talking about has hot streaks. So with the hot streak working with two family, two feud, if, you, if I go around and you are on a hot streak, let's say, for example, Nicole, she goes, gets it off the bat. The first one, she gets number four. Then it comes back back to her. She's like, you know what? Boom. She gives me number six. Her hot streak begins. She gives me that third one. If she gives it to me correct, let's say it's number one, so 10 points. Since she's on hot streak and since it's the third one that's correct in a row, she gets double value of what it is. So if it would be number one, Nicole would get 20 points right there. And it continues to multiply for as long as you go on a hot streak. I'll explain it if we ever get to that, because mostly I think it's only happened once where someone's hot streaked and then that's tripled. It's only happened once and it was Ali. Um, and then I can tell you guys if, what happens, how many points you get in that case. But yeah, that's how the hot streak works. So, And then again, everyone gets two lives. The same as survival games, two fam and two feud, everyone gets two lives. So you can skip if you'd like, but remember, throwing out any answer is better than no answer. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. All right, so again, we're gonna go uh, Savannah, Jill, Nicole, Matthew. All right. Now, I'm gonna reveal the category. Savannah, you get f up to first to bat. So you are literally, you are the first one to grab points. That's the good thing about being last place, technically, of going first. Uh, this one is going to be most films, sorry. Most, it should be, let me, actually, let me word this really quick. Most, um, um, wait, yes. Okay, here we go. It should be worded this. Most film nominations at this year's Academy Awards. Again, I have nine slots. Uh, this is excluding films that only have one award. Obviously, there's only nine slots, so it's only two and above. So most film nominations at this uh, Academy Awards. So good thing about going over the, uh, the Oscar votes is you already know a lot of the films that are nominated. So... Uh, again, the number one value is however, what movie has the most nominations? And then it goes subsequent, uh, subsequently down. I don't know if I said that right, but that's how it goes. So number one slot has 10 points. Number two has nine. Number three has eight, so on and so forth. Does that make sense to Vanna so and everyone only, else? I only have one. I only just have to say one. Yes. And then I'll go to Jill, Nicole, Matthew, and then it'll loop back to you. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, so yeah, floor is yours. Uh, so I guess my first um, one would be Puss in Boots. Puss in Boots only received one Oscar nomination, Savannah. Oh, okay. That is, <laughs> that is one life remaining, but it's still good. You're still in the game. You're still in the game. Uh, Jill, it's on to you. Um, everything everywhere all at once. <laughs> Number one, with 11 nominations, that is 10 points to Jill. Very good stuff, Jill. All right. Nicole. Elvis. Elvis, number three. That is eight points with, funny enough, eight nominations. Wow. Very good stuff. Eight nominations. All right. Matthew. The Fablemans. Number four, seven points to you, seven nominations, fitting, fitting. All right, Savannah, it's on back to you. Um, I might pronounce the last part wrong, but it was Banshee and in Insurin. Ba Banshees of, yeah, <laughs> Banshees of Insurin, <laughs> that 
is tied for number two. So I cannot reveal it, but it is worth nine points. That is nine points to Savannah. Very good stuff. Uh, Jill, it's on to you. Um, tar. Tar is tied for the fifth spot. So that is six points. It has six nominations. Uh, but it is tied with something, so I cannot reveal it just yet. That is six points to you, Jill. All right, Nicole, on to you. Dang. Um, uh, shoot. Women Talking? Women Talking is tied with another film in the ninth spot. That is... Uh, two points to you, Nicole. Two points. Nice. All right. Uh, Matthew, it's on to you. The Whale is tied in the eighth spot. That is three points to you, Matthew. Three points. All right. Uh, Savannah, it's back on to you. Uh, I don't know if this was nominated or not. I might just be making this up. But All Quiet on the Western Front? Was the other one with nine nominations. Tied with Banshees, you get cool. 18 points right there, Savannah. 18 Woo! points. Jill, yes. it's on to you. Your hot streak begins. If you give me the next correct answer, whatever the value of that is, is doubled. Um... I'll show, I'll reveal what's been revealed so far. So number one, everything everywhere. Number two is tied. Savannah got both, All Quiet and Banshees. Number three was Elvis. Number four was The Fablemans. Number five, I'm waiting for one more, but the other one that was said was Jill who said Tar. Number six is open. Number seven is open. Number eight has four movies total. And Matthew only said The Whale. And the number nine spot, it has two films and then... Nicole said women talking. Okay, so Top Gun Maverick. Was the other movie in the fifth spot? That is 12 points to you, Jill. Very good stuff. I'll just add that onto what you already had right there. All right. Uh, Nicole, it's on to you. Um, Wakanda Forever. Number six, that is five points to you, Nicole. Very good stuff. Uh, also, Nicole, your hot streak began. That is double value, 10 points to you, Nicole. Very good stuff, very good stuff. Uh, give, me one, give, me, give me one second, hold on. Oh. So okay, this is just Oscar noms in general. like. This was just this year. Most film nominations at right. this year's Academy Awards. Yeah, yeah, Nice. Okay. Uh, Matthew, it's on to you. Babylon? You're, you're also on a hot streak, so this next one, if you got it correct, would be double value. Babylon was in the eighth spot again with The Whale. There's two more films in that one, but it's double value, so it, would, it was six. Or sorry, was three. It is now six for you. I forgot about that one. Nice. All right. Uh, Savannah, this next one, if you get it correct, is double value. Um, blonde? Blonde. Fortunately, Savannah, blonde was not nominated for more than one Oscar nomination. <laughs> Savannah has been <laughs> eliminated. <laughs> that was the end of the two lights. Savannah has been eliminated. Uh, nice. Jill, moves on to you. Uh, your hot um, streak begins, by the way. At this point, you're, it already doubled. This next value triples. RRR. RRR. Unfortunately, it is not in this list. Like I said, I don't know what it was. The, uh, the Oscars were being very unfair to them. They only gave them one nomination. So that is one life lost, Jill. Your hot streak ends, but you still are in it. Nicole, it's on to you. Um, Till? Till was also not on the list. Dang. 
Okay. That is one life lost for you. Matthew. Um, Avatar The Way of Water. That was the seventh spot. Four wow. nominations. Yeah. Woo! Nice. Eight points to you, Matthew. All right. Chill. It's back to you. Are there any more? You said there was nine. A lot. There were nine slots there. I'm waiting for three more movies. Well, uh, two of them in the eighth spot. One is in the ninth. Wait. But you said the whale and Babylon were tied for eight and women talking. And I did. And there were two more in the eighth spot with Babylon and the whale. Oh. And one more with woman talking. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, oh my God. The Batman. Was in that eighth spot. That is three points to you, Jill. Three points. Right. Nicole, it's on to you. Oh man. Um, shoot. I have no idea. Wait. Oh shoot. Somebody is an avatar. <laughs> um, the menu. That wasn't. That? And you did not receive kind of more than so. one nomination. <laughs> Nicole has been eliminated, but it is now down to two. Matthew, it's on to you. Uh, sorry, I can't pronounce his name, but Go... Del Toro's Pinocchio. Mm. Guillermo Del Toro's Pinocchio was not on my list. Oh, man. I don't think it got more than one nomination. I think it was just animated feature. I think. Makes sense. Yeah. That is one life lost to you, Matthew. Jill, it's on to you. Gosh. Uh, um, Causeway. Causeway was not nominated for more than one Oscar. Matthew, it's just us. Floor is yours. Hey. There are two more movies left. And you have really? one life remaining. Ah, uh, well. <laughs> uh, man. Cannot remember. Um, uh, Oh boy. Mm. I will give you 10 seconds. <sighs> Darn it. Time has expired. I will have to expire okay. the time there. Uh, I will reveal so far. Uh, number one, everything. 11 nominations. Nine nominations. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Sorry. Yeah, five nominees, sorry. Uh, four, tied. This one, you guys were missing. Triangle of Sadness. Oh. Chill, oh, I literally told, you sadness. Other, literally told you the other night there were three nominations to that one. Oh, you and the did. Other one, the other one that I wouldn't put it past you guys if you missed it, but Living had two nominations, I guess. Oh, One for man. screenplay, one for I don't one. even remember you mentioning the Batman. I don't, yeah, maybe I didn't mention the Batman, but. It was on that I, the thing it had a couple yeah there's there tons of different categories i didn't mention but yeah there were a couple that it did get nominated for i can say in fourth place savannah with 24 very good stuff savannah very good stuff get some points up on the board we love to see it we love to see it number uh third place current quiz club champ 64 points 64 okay. right in front of her Nicole with 67. Wow. Oh, boy. Currently in the lead. The man you guys want to stop. Matthew with 91 <laughs> Whoa. points. Wow. Still, to, still all to play for. Two more yep. sections to this final round, which is Survival Games. As we already know, uh, that is our next round, obviously. Oh, if it could show. There we go. Boom. That's the next round. Uh, so, 
given the, the rules that I will, I said, I will go over them again. This one is going to be fun. And I'll give you guys time to do some homework or not homework. Don't look up any answers, please. <laughs> but uh, I will give you guys time to um, take notes because you will have to take notes for this one. Uh, this one is going to be black actresses nominated for best actress in reverse chronological order. Ooh. Now I will take the years I will take, I will need each and every black actress from that year until we move on to the following, to the previous year. Remember, we're going reverse chronological, so we're going backwards in time. Does any of that make sense? It doesn't have to be an order in which they showed up on the ballot. It's literally just if last year, well, I'm not going to say anything, but whoever was nominated for what year, I'll give you the year, but I won't, um, I won't say anything past that. If we pass like four or five years, I will tell you guys the film. And see how far you guys go. Does that make sense for you guys? Mm -hmm. Sort of. Yeah. Like. Sort of. I mean, like, I. Um, oh, sorry, Jillian. <laughs> oh, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Like, you said you're going to give us the year. And so I will give you guys just... the year. And then you guys go backwards. So how about this? When I give you guys your minute to take notes, the first year, there was no black actress nominated this year, fortunately and last year, and the year previous, the last time we had a black actress nominated for best leading actress was 2020. That is where we'll start. Because I and feel we'll like, yeah, like it's so confusing because like I feel like black actresses barely get any nominations. So I'm like, yeah. yeah. That's, it's gonna be hard. Pretty, yeah, hard, <laughs> I'm like this one's gonna be tough, especially for be best tough. actors, not even best supporting, best actress. Yeah. Like, I don't oh, know. That's true. I don't that's know. True. All right, I'll give you guys a minute starting now. Take some notes. Do what you gotta do. No looking up answers, obviously, but take your notes, and we'll we'll come back around. <sighs> How about this? Do you guys to make it a little easier? Do you guys want me to give you the film as well? Honestly, yeah. Yeah. Wait, the I'll, what? Do, I'll do that. The films. I'll give you the films, but I won't tell you the actress. Um, so I'll do it in like, I'll give you guys 15 more minutes to like prepare. <laughs> I Remember, feel like Black Eyed is nominated. No, it doesn't have to be a win. Even if they did win, that's okay. I'll take it. It has to be nomination. I'll tell you the film. I'll tell you the year, but that's it. I will not tell you anything more. All right. Okay. I'll start taking it now, but again, uh, lowest to highest points. So I, again, we'll start with Savannah, then Jill, Nicole, and then Matthew. So it's the same exact thing we did just, just again. All right. Savannah, we're going to start with you. 2020, two films. Mm -hmm. So you have two actresses. One film is The United States versus Billie Holiday. The other film is Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. Okay, Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, that was Viola Davis. There you go. Now you Ooh. just take one and then I move on. Just oh, take okay. one and then I move on. Yeah. Ooh, glad I said that one because I do not remember that girl's <laughs> name. Oh, that's a good movie. Well, Viola is correct. That is a point to Savannah. Jill. The actress who won, or for nominated, sorry, did not win. Nominated for the United States versus Billie Holiday. I don't know her name. Yeah. I, I don't know either. I, I, know I watched it too. I know she sings, but that's it. Mm, yeah, like I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know. You get two lives. Would you like to skip? I would like to skip. I don't know. Skipping that life. All right, Jill's using <laughs> one life to skip. Uh, Nicole. It's on to you. Yeah, I'm going to have to skip as well. No <laughs> okay. Nobody knows her name. Like Wait, but, but are you giving the movies still? or? It is still just, we're still on 2020. <laughs> oh, we're, we're still just trying to figure out Billy Holiday. If we get oh. back to Savannah, I will, I will skip. I will like, won't dock anyone, but I'll skip to the next year. Wow. So it's not just like, we just keep getting stuck at this one actress. Yeah, yeah. really. Who's the actress um, nominated for United States versus Billie Holiday? All right. I'm just going to take a guest. I cannot pronounce her name, 
was it uh Lu- Lupita? I can't pronounce the last name. Lupita Nyongo? It was not Lupita Nyongo. Uh, yeah. no. Let's go back to Savannah, but I'll skip it. It was Andra Day. Oh, oh I would Andra nope. Day. Andra Day. And I watched like a couple of interviews, like her talking about the movie too, and I just did not remember her name. Yeah. Next year, we're jumping to 2019. There was only one black actress nominated. This one would go to Savannah unless she got it wrong. This was for Harriet. Oh, shit. Oh, no. I want to say Janelle Monet. Janelle Monet is incorrect. Oh, my God. (laughs) Jill, Nicole, and Matthew, you guys are really in a hot seat because Savannah got the only one correct. So if none of you guys got it, Savannah. I I missed. I don't remember her face. Oh, so God. I didn't. I didn't mention this Wait, when I said I, the rules. I didn't mention this when I said the rules. But uh, depending on how you place, so for example, let's say Jill gets eliminated, she gets zero additional points to what she got, which would be zero. The next person out would get an additional six points, then eight. Whoever's next out, second. If Savannah stood tall here, she would get ten plus one point she got. She'd get eleven points just now. So I'll, I'll explain it a little bit once we get back to it. But Jill, it is on to you. It was not. What? Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. I believe it was Cynthia Uribo. That is correct. Uh, Cynthia Uribo. I was like, I know it's some type of singer and I didn't remember who. (laughs) I remember the face, but I can't remember her name. Also, they have fun facts. Uh, She was the first black British actress to be nominated. That's awesome. Mm, Like ever? Not that. Mm Mm-hmm. And she was the first Nigerian to receive an Academy Award nomination. That's really good, too. Way too late, but we love to see it. Love to see it. Uh, Next, we're jumping to Nicole, and this is 2016. 2016 for the film Loving. Oh, my gosh. Loving? Loving? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Why do I want to see Tessa Thompson? That's not it. Loving. Fun Loving. fact, she was the first black Irish actress to be nominated. And first black African actress to be, wait, Ethiopia actress to be nominated. Ethiopian. <laughs> Ethiopian. Sorry, I said Ethiopia on Wikipedia. All right. Nicole? No clue. Ethiopia? Yeah. Who's from Ethiopia? I'll give you 10 seconds. And Irish. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's an interesting mixture. I'm like, huh? And Love I watched it. the movie too. It was pretty good. Loving. Loving. Is that on Netflix? Or was it on Netflix? No, right? I just watched it bootleg. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Nicole, no. I will need an answer from you. I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Nicole has been eliminated. Uh, unfortunately, Matthew, you're next. You, what year was this again? 2016. 2016 for the film Loving. I, I honestly don't know. Um, <laughs> I really, I really don't. Um, this is probably wrong, but I'm just gonna take a guess. Octavia Spencer. It's not Octavia. It's not Octavia. Also, oh I should gosh, have I should have mentioned this. Should have mentioned it from the get go. If you score zero points and then place, you don't get any additional points to it. I should have mentioned that. Sorry, Matthew. Uh, Savannah, it's you. Are we going on to a different year? It's still you. Actually, because oh. you gave you gave me no. Jill gave me Cynthia, so it stays on you. It skips oh. if it, if you get it wrong or you get it correct. Basically, it skips regardless after you. I should say. Oh yeah, no, my answer still the same. I I don't know. <laughs> Waving the white flag. Yeah. <laughs> well, I will say Savannah did get eight points additional to her one. So she'll be walking out with nine points right there. Love it. Love it. Nine points. Jill. 
I will skip. I will go to the next film. Again, I will give you only eight additional points if you cannot get it. But if you get it right, I will give you additional 10 points. This is 2012, the film Beasts of the Southern Wild. Oh, wow. I, <laughs> I'm i thinking of a whole different movie in 2012. Okay. That's probably best supporting. Um, what, what was the movie? Beasts of the Southern Wild. I've never even heard of that. <laughs> what? Apparently, she was nine years old. The youngest Best Actress nominee. What? First actress. First person born in the 21st century to receive an Ac Academy Award nomination. That's cool. For for best her. Actress? Yeah. Was this an American film? I'm assuming. I've never heard of this. It is. I don't know anybody who was nine years old in 2012. Who Do you want to wave the, the white flag and it. just take the nine? Yeah. All right. Oh, my gosh. Uh, that, so that was uh, Quivenzani? Quivenzani? I'm not saying that right. Wallace. I would have never gotten her. <laughs> no. No. I don't, I don't know, know about this round, babe. <laughs> it's not my fault. Yeah, it's know, not like, my fault, right? I don't know. Like this is so hard. <laughs> don't hate the player, hate the game. All right. So, uh, at the end of that, nine points to both Savannah and Jill. Adding that to what you guys have so far, uh, Savannah is going to be at thirty-three. Very good stuff, Savannah. Very good stuff. Jill is going to be at seventy-three. So I go Savannah thirty-three. Woo! Sixty-seven. Jill 73, Matthew 91. Oh my God. Last part of this round, Jill, you do need to overcome 18 points to surpass Matthew and keep your title. The last part of the round. Black actors nominated for best actor in reverse chronological order. Same thing applies. We will be starting from 2021, where there were two black men nominated. Mm -hmm. Again, it's going to go Savannah, this time Nicole, then Jill, then Matthew. <laughs> nice. Savannah, you're starting us off. Do you Nervous. have Nervous. Oh, wait, I thought you were going to give the movie. I can give the movie. Yeah, sure. Uh, the two movies we have are King Richard. And the tragedy of Macbeth. Ooh. Um, I'll go with King Richard, so Will Smith. That is correct. That is a point to you, Savannah. Very good stuff. I do not remember the Macbeth one. <laughs> Nicole, for the tragedy of Macbeth. I have no idea. I'm not to skip. <laughs> Skip, skip is used. Jill? That's going to be Denzel Washington. That is correct. Denzel. Yeah. Matthew, it goes on to you. It is 2020. The film was Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. Chadwick Boseman. That is correct. Correct. Savannah, it's back to you. We are going to 2017. God. Two wow, black that actors. Big jump. Two movies were Roman J. Israel and Get Out. Okay, so Get Out. Um, <laughs> Daniel. <laughs> Sorry, I'm doing. Is, Daniel Kaluuya is correct. Nicole. Oh my God. Who was nominated for Best Actor <laughs> for Roman J. Israel? I've never even heard of that movie. I don't know. The fun fact of this actor. He was the first African American actor to be nominated two years in a row. What was the other one he was nominated? <laughs> <laughs> little hint, little hint. I don't know. Yeah, okay. That was my only hint I gave you. So, never heard of that. So that movie. means that there's a 2016 one. Maybe. That would, I, Maybe. I'm assuming that's Nicole, movie. do you want to throw out a guess or are you are you gonna sync with the ship? <laughs> um 
Okay, let me see. Get out. So what was going on around that time? <clears throat> um, I'm going to guess the Keith Stanfield. Dang. was not Lakeith. Chill. Who is the black actor nominated for Roman J. Israel? With the hint of this actor being nominated two years in a row. Um, I'm going to go with Mahershala Ali. That would have been my guess. Too. Oh, wow. Just yeah. one life lost. It was not Mahershala Ali. Matthew. Wow, that, was, that was a pretty good guess, though. Yeah, that was really my guess, guess, too. Matthew, who was the black actor nominated for Roman J. Israel? Oh, my God. Um, And what, what was that hint again? If you can give me it. He is the first oh. African-American actor to be nominated for uh, for best actor two years in a row, which really helps out whoever gets the next one. <laughs> uh, man. It's hard. Darn it. Um, I- I'm just, gonna, I'm just going to take a guess. Winston Duke. <laughs> Now Winston Good. Duke. Good I will not reveal song. because clearly the answer is the is the next year's answer. Oh my God. Uh, Savannah, it's back to you. 2016. You might as well, might as well skip one. me then. <laughs> you don't want to hear that. You don't want to hear the film. I'll hear the film. I'll hear it out. <laughs> Fen- fences. Oh. <laughs> God, what is his name? Oh my God. And Viola Davis was in that. I just don't remember who was playing the opposite. Was that Denzel? That is correct. One wow, that's crazy. Oh, wow. Which he was nominated <laughs> for Roman J. Israel. He is the only, the first, I should say. I don't know if he's the only, but he is the first black wow, actor to be nominated Denzel. two years in a row. That's yep. crazy. I, I didn't know. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't skip. <laughs> yep. Jill, it's on to you. This is a 2013 film, and the film is 12 Years a Slave. Mm. That is Chweddle. Oh, I don't know his last name. If you butcher it, it's okay. I don't even. Um, Chweddle. I give it to you. I'll give it to you. You know, you know him. It's Thank just, you. It, yeah. He's got a lovely last name that you that we just can't pronounce. It's okay. I don't know no what his last name is. No worries. Matthew, it's Ooh. on to you. Oh, this is 2012, and the film is Flight. Oh, uh, Denzel Washington. That is correct. Wow, Denzel Ooh. has yeah. just like Denzel he's working. Just for a lot working. Of stuff. Wow. We're going pretty far. We're already at like, two, uh, Savannah. This is 2000, 2009, Savannah. This film is Invictus. Ooh. We're going pretty deep, so I'll give you the name of the character. This actor played Nelson Mandela in Invictus, 2009. Mm. Mm. See, the thing is, I don't know the actor, but I'm trying to figure out an actor that would play him. And what is his name? I have his face in my mind. You know it. You know it. You know it. I I have his face in my mind because he looks he looks like he could play Nelson Mandela. I just forgot his name. It's not Denzel. It's not Samuel. God, what is his name? <laughs> I will. I will be honest. I gave everyone a cop out for their for their first episode. So if you can give me a film that they've been in, just to oh. confirm that you're thinking of the oh same person, my. I will give you a point. Oh my 
Come on. I always, I always do it to the, I always, I always give a helping hand to the, to I'm the debut. So, I'm so mad because I, I can't remember his name. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to. Can you, can you give me a film, Savannah? Another film that he's been in so we can confirm that you're talking about the right person. What film has he been in? <laughs> he's been in some with he's... Viola Davis and I just, I can't remember the name. But you know which guy I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't know. That's why I want to confirm. Okay, he That's looks thing. really so... old. He looks really old, and he has like stuff on his face. He has like the same things I have on my face, like the All little right, Savannah, mole thingies. Savannah, we are talking about the same person, but make sure from <laughs> now on you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> make sure <laughs> he has like these little things on his face. I don't know black. about that. Savannah, Are for we... your first time, I always what? do it. Everybody's first time, I give them a helping hand. Savannah, that is where you are correct in thinking of that actor. You just can't think of his name. So, yeah. but remember, from now on, on future why episodes, I, why am I forgetting his name? I'm so mad at myself because, like, I Savannah, his time. his name is Morgan Freeman. Yes, Morgan Freeman. Oh. <laughs> Like, I always I give a helping his- hand. That was my only helping hand. That's it. No more, Savannah. All right. Uh, next, Jill. <laughs> Jill, this is t- 2006. You have two films. One is The Last King of Scotland, and the other movie is The Pursuit of Happiness. Oh, Will Smith. Pur- Pursuit of Happiness. <laughs> I had to take that one. I'm sorry. <laughs> Matthew. Yeah. Who is the actor? Nominated for The Last King of Scotland. Fun fact, this one was the one who won. He was the one who won the Oscar that year. Oh, my God. It, you said 2006? 2006. Oh, man. Um, okay, 2006. Ah. Uh, it say the title again. The Last King of Scotland. <sighs> I mean, uh, it sounds like a dramatic film. Um I'll need an answer in about 20 seconds. Give me 20. Oh god. All right. I'm uh mm, here. Uh all right. I'm gonna go with Denzel Washington again. That's what I would have picked. <laughs> Denzel. Oh, really? I thought was it was not. <laughs> yeah. Because Denzel plays like all these classical characters, and I'm yeah. like, super like intense, like, uh, very deep characters. <laughs> yeah. Savannah, it's on to you. Which actor Ooh. won Best Actor for The Last King of Scotland? Last King of Scotland, and this was in 2006? 2006. I was only six years old. <laughs> Same. Who could have been? We got pretty far, though. We got almost almost 20 years. We're close. Um, I'm just going to throw out a name. Maybe it's Morgan Freeman, honestly. <laughs> That is incorrect, but Savannah, you're still in because you have both lives. Oh. Jill, I'm going to skip this movie for you since we looped back. You got the last one correct, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to skip this one for you. That one was Forrest Whitaker. Forrest Whitaker, Whitaker. wow. All right. He didn't even come Jill, up in my mind. 2004. Two actors, two movies. One was Hotel Rwanda, and the other was Ray. Mm. I'm going to say Samuel L. Jackson. Dang. Not correct. Not correct. But Jill, you do have eight additional to what you got. 11 points coming out of the best actor. Who could play Ray? I'm trying to think. Because I don't know the other one. <laughs> But I'm trying to think of an actor who could play Ray. Oh, gosh. 
Yeah, I don't know. I'm waving my white flag. <laughs> waving the white flag. Are you sure yeah. you want to throw out one final guess? For 10 additional points. If not, you just get eight plus the four. So you get 12 or you can get 14. The thing is, I've never seen Ray, but I'm trying to like picture an actor, a black actor in my mind that would be able, like the closest yeah. looking to him. Mm, yeah, no. Waving the white flag. All right. Oh, Ray was Jamie Foxx. It was Jamie Foxx. Jamie Foxx. That is correct. Oh. If we went a little bit more. Uh, if we went a little bit more, uh, Don Cheadle was Hotel Rwanda. Then the following year, this was fun. Training Day in Ali for 2001. That's Will Smith and Denzel Washington. Denzel, so, yeah. That one would have, been, would have been very interesting. I'm just looking. Denzel has a lot of nominations. Denzel. He's Denzel. Training Day. I would have gotten Training Day. Jeez. I mean, personally, I, I've said it before. I, I, I prefer his son over him. But that's a whole different debate for a whole different, different day. Uh, but very good stuff. I've tallied up some of your points besides Savannah. Let me get Savannah's really quick. And then we will go into the final scores. Uh, how was today's episode for you guys? How was it? It was good. good. This, this is was, a lot. This was this really, is really good. <laughs> <laughs> it is stressful. Quiz Club is always stressful. I'm just mad because I couldn't remember Morgan Freeman's name. And I was like... I have his face in my mind. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, oh, I did your points oh, wrong. <sighs> oh, I got really close towards the end. All right. Uh, oh, no. As the I know, points I'm like, oh, God. stand. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, I also got your points wrong, Savannah. What the heck? Uh, uh, four. There we go. Okay. As the points stand. In fourth place. Very good shout on your first episode. Yeah. 47 Woo! points. Very good Eight. stuff, Savannah. Claps all around, claps all around for Savannah. Very good <laughs> stuff. Very good stuff. In third place, Nicole with 67 points. That's the most I've ever made. So. That right. is. Uh, by yourself, that is the most points you've got by yourself. Very good stuff, Nicole. Very good stuff. In second place, Previous Quiz Club champion, Jill. 85 oh points. Oh, Jill. The comeback was close. If you held in with the so best close. actress, if you held in with best actress and held on to best actor, you there could have been a shot. Could have been a shot. Dang, that's so tough. Because and new Quiz Club and four time tied with <laughs> eight. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, no. Ow. It is mine! Oh, Ryan no. Wayne, what is happening? Oh my God. <laughs> There's a three-time quiz oh, number two, sorry, two time quiz champion. We're going to have to see the rematch of that real quick. Matthew, 93 oh, good job, points. Oh. Very good stuff, Matthew. Oh, Very good stuff. Mind. Matthew is now at oh, the wait. top tier, oh, top of the mountain. Four championship reigns. Matthew, I got to talk to you first, man. How was today's episode for you? You are now it tied was... with the most championships with Caden. How does that make you feel? Wait, wait, what? You have you have you are tied with the most championship reigns with four Ooh. with Caden. How does that feel? Uh, feels feels good. It <laughs> it feels good. Wow, I man, you know, oh, th this final round was really, really, really close. Yeah, yeah. it was that so was hard. close. I was tough. listening in the other room, and I'm like, oh, my. Nice. <laughs> All right. You should have told me. I would have sent you the link so you could watch along. No, I got in right when it was, like, yeah. the final round. I just came home, and you guys were just entering survival games. Yeah. Mm. Nice. Well, also, Savannah, if you don't know, I think Nicole knows. But this is Ryan. He's our – he was – he is still our longest reigning champ. He, he held the belt for 57 days. Oh, wow. Yeah, 57 that. days. 57 days. <laughs> cash in on Ryan. So he's a little salty, but he's getting his rematch soon now that Matthew's got it back. Mm -hmm. Yep. Should be fun. Uh, but I do want to get, get a hold of Savannah real quick. Savannah, how was today's episode? I know it was stressful, but I know it was fun. <laughs> how did you feel jumping into the fire a little bit? Honestly, I felt like I knew more movies than I thought I would. So mm -hmm. I'm pretty proud of myself of that. Um, it was stressful because I couldn't remember Morgan Freeman's name, and I'm so mad at myself for that. I had his face in my mind, and I just couldn't remember. I was trying to pull out all these black actors and actresses that I knew, 
And wow, I feel like I need to catch up on some movies for sure. So for sure. For sure. We definitely want to bring you back, Savannah. So I hope you I hope you had enough fun to where you want to come back. That's that's all we care for. So. Yeah, it was super fun. I really loved it. Stressful, nice. loved it. <laughs> As always. Also, people definitely check out Savannah's YouTube. I'd be laughing at those vlogs and those those this the quarry more specifically, that that game. I actually I always like wanted I, to play it. So I really have to finish it. I'll finish it yeah. when I go back home. <laughs> definitely finish it. Definitely finish it. So check out Savannah's YouTube. So I'm glad you were here. Nicole, mm -hmm. this might be the last solo episode we see you before you get married, but how was today's episode for you? Were you excited? How did it feel to see your sister? You um, know, I started glory, you know. off really well. I started you did. Out, you really did. And I was so excited. I was like, ooh, I might actually win like top two. Yeah. Winning is, is too high of a, you know. <laughs> yeah. But it was fun. It was fun. Nice. Good. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad you had a good time. Glad you had a good time. Well, Jill, right? You made it to the mountain. It happens. It happens. Trust me. People have had it worse. We've had a Wasaki rain of six days. It happens. All right. But Jill, <laughs> you did hold it for 18 days. 18 days is really good, to be fair. 18 days is really good. You got to be You got to be thinking about getting that title back. How was today's game today? How was it? Was it stressful? That is like, does the rumor of every champion saying it's like stressful having the belt? Does that, do you feel that now? Do you understand that? I mean, yeah, because like I said at the, at the beginning, it's like a lot of pressure because I'm like, I, you know, it would be nice to keep it, but clearly that's <laughs> the case here. Um, but you know, that's okay. Um, yeah. I will say though, I need, there needs to be a time where I actually like win from playing because mm, yep. the only reason I got the bell is because I cashed in. So I just feel like, I feel true. like a fraud. Like, I feel like I That's didn't That's true, really but not get... also true. Because I mean, you want, you, want, you literally won an well, entire I play round. baseball player for the ever. right. You want to say, you swept him <laughs> in that round. Yeah, you got you each I one, plus you won an yeah. episode. So therefore, yeah. you did. You, and you have a tag team ring. It. Don't let the well, cash in. Oh, thanks, Ryan. Don't let <laughs> it just because of the <laughs> cash in championship. That's um, you know, yeah, I'm being I nice for I once. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That is but true. other than that, that this episode was. <laughs> Wait, what? That was horrible. That was horrible timing. He's like, he's like, I'm just being nice for once, and then we just hear Dante think, "Oh, that is true." <laughs> oh, yep. oh. Ryan is the biggest heel in Quiz Club. Oh, that's right for here. sure. Yeah. But uh, um, yeah, very good stuff to everyone. I will. I will say, uh, I got to hype up Matthew four time Quiz Club champ, Matthew. Uh, we'll be we'll be walking out of this episode into episode 41 where he defends it four time champ. Well, I'm very excited. I'm glad you guys had a good time. Uh, and these final moments of the recording, we're gonna go ahead and say goodbye. So go ahead and say goodbye to the cameras. Say goodbye to the people. Quiz Club 39. Go away. I'm coming.